Anywho, let's have some reminders from last session. And we've got... who's currently schlorped as well? It's our Hollywood. budding communist, yeah. Uh, Holborn Twight. <laughs> For some reason I wanted to call him Alan. Alan! 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 Yes, dinosaurs will now be the shocking plot twist. <gasps> you say shocking! The brains, finally! <laughs> yeah, I say shocking. No, 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 you don't, young Nicholas. You're not a cannibal in this reality. It would can be... We, can we requisition an astropath, please? No, I will fucking shoot you. You cannot requisition <laughs> fucking astropath. Why? <laughs> they don't exist. It's a fictional well, setting that won't be invented. Telepaths exist. Years. Telepaths do. Astropaths don't. Ah, same thing. Tomato, tomato. No. No, it isn't. <laughs> so, reminders from last session. Uh, the town is dead silent. Not even birdsong. Thornbury is concealing a slow-burning rage. Everyone hates the communist. Who... Who are we replacing Ollie with? Whilst he's schlorped. Um... Alan. Alright, so instead of Holman Twight, you have Alan. It's a mononym. Cool, I was wondering who I should be angry with since he was short. Yeah, that damned Alan. Noted communist. Uh, or suspected communist, technically, I guess. Um, the party has a bag of sandwiches. I guess. You were following the publican out onto the moors. <laughs> no one has had a restful night's sleep. A big gribbly in the oh the big gribbly in the woods was immune to magic and gunfire. <laughs> the proletariat will arise. <laughs> I think that one's more of a hope slash wish list, uh, wish list thing. Yeah. Convince Tango that his camera flash is super powerful. Don't know who that was from. Oh, it was me. Yeah. Fair. Other than that, I think you'd uh, you just all geared up to uh, trek out onto the moors after the distant speck that was the publican. <laughs> Yeah, the, uh, grabbed ammo and whatnot. What, sorry? We grabbed ammo, extra ammo for our company. Yes, of exactly. And you were going to pace out after him. Did we do a roll? I don't quite remember. A roll for like catching up with him. I don't think we got that far. Uh, no. no, that's fair. Oh yeah, I think we might have said like we might have said that we'd leave it. What? Well, no, wasn't it that my last roll? The uh, was that the thing else? Hello. I think that was to prepare for going out on the moors because you weren't sure how long you were going to be out there. But I suppose, you know, he's going at a walking pace. You can catch up with him. It's just a question of how long. It's probably should be a roll. <laughs> Sorry, I just have the old Sorcerer's Quest XP screen up on the other screen, and I'm wondering, I'm wondering what the Saga of Waxy Joe subquest was. <clears throat> Presumably something dealing with someone called Joe, who's Apparently. quite waxy. Apparently. So, uh, what are we doing then, folks? Uh, I, I think guess... we're following him, aren't we? Yeah. yeah. Okay. The five of you trace oh, yeah. out onto the... I assume that was your pizza arriving. Yeah. Sorry, I'll get pizza then. Cold. Never had food though. Food is good. I mean, I kind of wish I had a bag of sandwiches, but like Ooh. the five of you traipse out onto the moor. It's not necessarily a difficult hike, uh, even first thing in the morning after not much sleep. <clears throat> The publican's only going at a, a fairly ambling pace. Nevertheless, it's perhaps half an hour, 40 minutes before you catch up to him as he's meandered out, 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 almost out of sight of the town. <laughs> What's your strategy for making contact here? Are you, like, trying to take him by surprise? Are you yelling at him as you get close? What are we doing? Walk up to him. Yeah. You walk on in determined silence until you get close enough to him to grab him by the shoulder. Who's doing it? 
See, I can't lie that uh, I'm my original interpretation of we were like gonna observe him and see what he was doing. So I am in no way prepared for the actual grabbing. <laughs> Are you gonna let the lad with one arm do it? It feels like I'm not doing it. I've got one arm. <laughs> If I, if I need a hand for my gun, I'm going for it. I don't. I don't have an arm to spare. To say I'll do it then. <laughs> Hello there, chap. You grab him by the shoulder, give him a cheery greeting, and he whirls sluggishly towards you. Eyes bleary, red rimmed where he's been rubbing at them. Jaw slack. What are you? Who are you? He collapses forwards onto the floor and begins dry heaving at your feet. Oh dear. This is most certainly uncouth behaviour. <laughs> it says, I would venture he'd perhaps been sampling his own supply. Off for a walk, were you? Uh, I, I don't... I'll take a step back. <laughs> he continues to cough up as though something won't quite get out of his throat. I presume I have a, a, a handkerchief, you so I'm going to take it out and put it over my nose and mouth. And be like, Ugh. he uh, he doesn't smell like he's been at the booze. So thirsty. Now I think we've had quite enough. <laughs> did we like bring anything to drink? You did say you'd prepared for the moor, so I think any one of you would have a, a tankard with you. Shall I give him some water to sober up? I'll do it, yeah. sir. Not seemly for a gentleman to be seen helping a mere tradesman. Thank you. As you bend down to uh, roll the guy back onto his back so that he can take a little water, you notice that his skin has an almost papery texture to it, and he feels far lighter than a man his size and age, as though he's been wasting away beneath his clothes. You bring I your. Say. Oh, sorry. I say. You bring your canteen up to his lips. Start to dribble a little water in to give him the idea. He feebly tries to bat the uh, tankard, tankard container away. Not that. Not that. You don't have a character. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. out of character. I was just going to say, out of character, I really want to just, like, prick my finger and, like, drop some blood and see if he'll react to that. Yeah. Uh, no, no, I, I think you've had quite enough of the alcohol. I, I think you should sober up now. Uh, take some water. Hang on, isn't it daylight? It is daylight. Yeah. What is it you do want to drink, sir? <laughs> Salty tears start blinking down either side of his face. Don't know. Oh dear. I didn't catch that one, was that? Said he doesn't know, sir. I think we should just give him the water. <laughs> he refused it. Yeah, he's he's trying not to drink it. He's also weak and malleable. That's true. You can just force him to drink the water if you like. Yeah. Yes. I guess. Uh, is there anything um, occulty that we can deviate from this? Like the clear look of him, the thirst, the way he's been acting, very strange. Oh no, I can't get a Benji's character sheet. Look, look at this error I get. <laughs> <laughs> Never seen that uh, one before. I've got three strength, basically. Reload. Ah, cool, I can reload. Yes, cool, sorry, it worked on the reload. Um, yeah, I will take strength. I mean, you're you're feeding someone, uh, like, force-feeding someone water when they're too weak to resist. Um, I will say strength, strength Medicaid, Medicaid, sorry, uh, strength medical, um, difficulty, difficulty five. I can't, I can't remember if I've still got medical, or whether or not I traded it in. <laughs> I think you've got medical, medicine even. I th- yeah, I think I do. I yeah, you've got three, you've got three dots of medicine. Okay. Uh, what were you asking you, Nicholas? Um, going off of uh, <laughs> how he's looking, the wasting away. What was the degrees? What was the difficulty? Five. Uh, that is one, two, one, 
Four degrees of success. Yeah, you, uh, you, you've been in this position with many a hungover lord before. This is, this is not difficult for you, and you're able to firmly hold the publican in place and more or less force the water past his lips. He has a choice between drowning and drinking, and reluctantly and clearly unhappy, he chooses drinking. Uh, you're Nicholas, sorry? Yeah, so going off of uh, the paper-thin skin, <laughs> wasting away, the thirst, and his clearly been walking since last night behaviour, is there anything we can define from that? Define, defer, defer? He really needed a drink. A bit Do more than that. have any... What is your occult training like? I have one dot in occult. Uh, it's kind of... Oh god, backstory stuff. Um, you are shit at a cult, aren't you? He's it, he's still getting into it. Hello. Uh, it's so uh, uh, Alan pops out of existence with a schlorp and is replaced by Holman Twite. His uh his occult training is kind of uh, bits and bobs here and there. It's not <laughs> he hasn't chosen a, a specific direction just yet. Okay, I would take... He's read in books here and there. So if anything, then, this might be more like half wisdom for you, sounds like. Do you have any of that? You do not. Oh my god, you're Nicholas, you had the option to buy half wisdom and you didn't buy five dots? I had the... Oh wait, I had the option? Where's half wisdom? You just add it in expert knowledges. Fuck! <laughs> well, I guess we know where the rest of your XP for the campaign is going. Time to cap out that half wisdom, boys. Ah, uh, I can't run it off uh, a cult. You can run it off a cult if you'd like. I will take a cult intelligence diff eight. <laughs> uh, I'll the system essentially. I've got five dot redos. Cool. <laughs> I love the idea of you sort of ruminating, trying to come up with something, but in front of you, Timothy Popperjack paces, repeatedly interrupts your train of thought with vague okay. suppositions. Any bonus for the health, or...? Uh, yeah, that'll be plus one to your pool. <laughs> you keep coming up with things, like, actually pretty reasonable suppositions, snippets of law, you know, th things that you think are applicable, and, and at just the second that you've finished saying things, uh, Woodrow Tanko, Popa Jack will then leap in with, of course, it's the thing you just said. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, I make that out to be two successes, you Nicholas, unless you've got a specialty yes. waiting in the wings. Uh, nope, just two. Yeah, two successes. Okay, so you get... Uh, I don't know if I can give you two questions, right? That feels weird. Um, so in that case, I guess we'll... Uh, this suggests to you that perhaps... Um, myths and legends are vague things. Magic, likewise. Vague and confusing. And so often... Arcane, in fact, by definition. But, at least in your limited experience, wide reading, and uh, I presume prolific consumption of penny dreadful novels, <laughs> you strongly suspect you're looking at someone being somehow supernaturally compelled. To do what is unsure. But certainly... This seems like someone who is uh, falling victim to a supernatural will interfering with their own, at least in your, and I do mean your, professional opinion, Popa Jack, as off to the side, Woodrow Tango looks presumably either disappointed or slightly put out. <laughs> this man is quite clearly being manipulated by some sort of magical means. Well, that would be quite apparent, I say. You don't even stop to <laughs> register the slight pauses in Tango's speech as he waits to see if you're going to interrupt him. <laughs> uh, the water uh, seems just, to bring... Ooh, sorry. Uh, I was just saying, uh, we search him. He's, he's clearly being forced out here for some reason. Uh, Maybe he's taking something somewhere, or maybe he is the something that's being taken somewhere. I'd place my bets on that spooky dream we all had. <laughs> mm. What was that spooky dream again? Fuck. 
don't remember the spooky dream. I'm hurt. I have some notes. Steel clanging, some Latin shouting, vaguely mastering tone, blood and iron. I can go somewhere specific. Yeah, Sebastian at first thought it was like rage hallucinations, but considering that everyone else has experienced it, he's slowly coming to, to the idea that it could be a dream. Presumably, especially concerning for Sebastian, as I don't believe you actually slept. Nope. Just gazed into the fire and quietly hallucinated in anger. Then wait, what? You mean that wasn't just me? The fire wasn't telling me stories? No, sir. What stories was it telling you? Burn them all. <laughs> Fucking hell, you're going to hide from the back of the room he stole from <laughs> that. pulls out like a, a little notebook. Notes down, deadly unstable. Just burn them all. Put it back in. <laughs> Let me just double check that you have. Yep, no, no dots of medicine. <laughs> <laughs> just, just opinions. <laughs> Purely opinion. This is an op- this is an officer's opinion. Ah, it has I to see. be correct. Yes, of course. <laughs> Emphasis on the officers due to that one dot of leadership you're rocking. I have one dot in medicine. Do we need a medicine roll for something? No, no. Just, just making five- fun of your Nicholas's uh, character's cliff notes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's see. Uh, um. Cool. I mean, yes. I would be concerned because at this point, like psychiatry is limited to like trepanning and electroshock therapy. Uh, but it's not quite. Yeah. Got lobotomies. Yeah. Nineteen nineteen. I think we're beyond the lot of that. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're beyond trepanning and phrenology, but we have moved on to lobotomy. Okay, well, close okay, enough. We're right. not beyond phrenology. It's nineteen nineteen, so it's it's actually still quite Phren- popular. Phrenology's. Phrenology's. I swear, like discarded in the in the eighteen hundreds. Uh, I know it kind of plays into racial theory and eugenics. So it's, yeah, it's but it's like it it's it's dismissed as quack quackery quite early on. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, it was discredited as a theory in the eighteen forties. Uh, yeah, that doesn't stop uh, people doing it though. No, no, people can do it, but like you're still seen as a nutter. It's like how everyone thinks that Prince Charles is a bit weird because he's into homeopathy. <laughs> I'd say there's a bit of a difference between homeopathy and false lobotomy, to be fair. Not not a fan of homeopathy, but... Phrenology's not false lobotomy. Oh, yeah, sorry. I completely um, got sidetracked I was trying to see if um, lobotomy was still legal. Lobotomy actually does seem to still be legal. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, so we can call pace on that discussion. Yeah, so, so uh, psychology is an interesting... Interesting point. You're after Freud, basically, but before a lot of ethics have come in, so it's in kind of a horrifying nightmare dreamscape moment in the science. <laughs> I turn okay. to Timothy and ask him where he got his medical training from. This is a personal note in my personal book. I didn't say it out loud. Oh, did you not? Ah, oh, okay. No, 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 no. I would have thought your answer would be the same it is, as it is to see me in the every question. The army! <laughs> yeah. Her Majesty's army! The finest place! His. Oh yeah, it's it's his at this point. His. Oh, I'll oh. Um, point my magnet device at the man and observe its reading. <laughs> well, what does your uh, magnet actually? Uh, what's it do again? What's its thing? Uh, oh yes, yeah, sorry. Queen Elizabeth is not born for another f- seven years. Elizabeth II, obviously. Uh, yes. What is your magnet device? Which background was it? <laughs> Oh, paranormal tools. <laughs> Fair. Um, cool. I guess that will be... <laughs> Assuming that Popa Jack doesn't, like, tackle you and take your tools to use them himself. Um... Found! <laughs> <laughs> Look, it was just lying here. Punches Woodrow in the face. Just lying here by itself. <laughs> uh, I think that's probably going to be... Perception technology, please. Difficulty eight. <laughs> oh, sorry, my nose is abysmal. I have a roll I think I can make up this as well. It's fair. They've uh, so they found the guy. He's not in great condition, Ollie, and he's kind of babbling weird nonsense. Uh, they just uh, the butler is in the process of like force feeding him water. He's currently like on the floor. He collapsed, like, dry heaving. Uh, that actually looks like a simple su- uh, one success there from Tango. Mm-hmm. It's it's faint, but the magnets whir and click in a pattern that you think 
is recognizable. There is a link, according to your magnetized magnetronic mag uh, magnetized magnetic <laughs> magnetron, or less stupid name. <laughs> <laughs> the same the way, magneto. Way, <laughs> it's abbreviated to mmm. <laughs> yes, according to the mmm. <laughs> the <laughs> doohickey. <laughs> MacGuffin. According to Mad according to Madoohickey. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> doohickey. That Medusa's second removed cousin or something. According to Madu Hickey, uh, there is uh, a weak magnetic field containing, uh, containing, connecting <laughs> this man here to uh, something else somewhere nearby. However, the local uh, magnetic overfield is that's totally a word and thing in this pseudoscience I decided um, <clears throat> is going entirely haywire. Uh, and it's extremely difficult to tell what point he is connected to. Could I roll to see what sort of enchantment he potentially has placed in him? Because I have four dots in a cult with a specialization in enchantments. Ah, uh, it's already been done, I'm afraid, Ollie, slightly before you turned up. Ah. Uh, it was a success, though. Uh, just for the record, Creed will say you can't see what direction the thing would be in, but you're pretty sure that if you found the area, you could probably recognize the pattern again with a similar roll. No. I'm just kind of looking over your shoulder at the needles. <laughs> <laughs> Fascinating stuff, isn't it, Boba Jack? Yes, indeed. <laughs> well, going off of logic, I would have thought that it's possible that maybe he was traveling to the White Mountain. <laughs> That is what we thought when we started following him, yeah? Very often, it's connection like, my nose between my eyes, like... Uh, I look at Timothy <laughs> and I ask him if he's ever actually set foot in any... Does, does he know what magnets are? I'm going to ask him if he knows what magnets are. No, I, I, do, I doubt this man's technological competency. Uh, what's, uh, what, what are magnets used for, like, in general use? Or are they still brand new, brand new? Right, you just answer the question. Magnets aren't brand new, brand new. They've been around since humans. Yeah, they've been going for quite a while. My um, history is pretty piss poor. So. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's a fair question. Um, I mean, considering fact, that Aztecs made batteries. <laughs> just saying. Um, I don't know exactly what practical use they would have had to the ordinary civilian or indeed military man in um, 1919. Uh, I, I think there's we something. Have magnets yet. Uh, I don't think you have yeah, widespread that's... fridges yet. No, you don't. Uh, you know what? Let's let's open up magnets in. I've already typed it in. History. It's just where you get shown the clown posse. <laughs> How do they work? How so do by... they work? So DC motors are already a thing. Arc lights, DC generators, the telephone. <laughs> they always use magnets, by the way. So AC generation. Uh. But to be Imagine fair as well, a lot of that is pretty cutting-edge tech. It's a bit like saying that we all know how smartphones work because we have smartphones. So, so actually the first ever uh, commercial steel magnets have been made in 1919. <laughs> yeah, and... That's, 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 so so you've you got the most cutting-edge magnets possible. Yeah, it's, it's, it's cutting-edge at the time. So it sounds like then um, you would look at it with the same... In fact, all of you, apart from the magnet expert, would look at it with the same sort of baffled uh, expression that someone would look at any super science gadget. I mean, can, can I go with the um, <laughs> Arthur C. Clarke, you know, any technology sufficiently advances exactly. magic? Exactly. That's more or less what it looks like. Uh, incidentally, the publican seems to have grown a little bit stronger with the application of some water. <laughs> to water. <Sure. clears throat> Sneezing in the early man. morning light. <laughs> to and he... he uh, tries to rock himself away from the <gasps> butler's grasp. Now, now. You know why you were walking out this way? Where you might have been going? Was he talking this way as well? No, he's, uh, he's, he's a bit stronger, but he doesn't seem mentally much better. <laughs> I need to... I need to go. <sighs> Gentlemen, perhaps we should allow him on his merry way. While we uh, follow and observe from a safe distance. I agree. 
sir, do you I know which direction? Was I talking to you? <laughs> Say good, sir. Do you know which direction you desire to go? At the very least. He he turns to more gentlemen than you ever will be. You dream of a world where there are no more gentlemen. Mm. Only comrades. United in the... What strand of communism do you see yourself identifying with, Ollie? Because you can basically pick at this point, right? None of the really bad shit's happened yet, so... Uh... <laughs> yeah, I'll do some proper research into it. Do a bit of research. I, for one, mm. Lord... Compete. You'd probably be following Leninism if you were a committed ma- committed communist. <laughs> no, no, well, I mean, well, Leninism's it, it, only Len- just getting off the ground, right? I so- know, but it's also the one that's actually taken over a country. Uh, 1919, I don't think it has yet. They're, they're, they're still in the middle of the Civil War. <laughs> closer, than the, closer than the British have got. Yeah, but it's still, he's allowed his own interpretation. Look, if there's one thing the left does damned well, it's ideological schisms over tiny minutia. If Ollie wants to have his own brand of communism, that's entirely fine, let alone someone else's brand. I think Leninism, but it's based off, <laughs> it's actually based off genes, it's Deninism. It's the whole thing. I retract it. Ollie is no longer allowed his own brand of communism. <laughs> it's called feminism, and we... I don't know I why... Mean, like, I mean, is the working man's material, right? Exactly, yeah. This is exactly it. It's the working man's... It's the... It's the if, if, you know, it's not the hammer and sickle. It's a nice blue pair of working man's jeans. That should be the symbol. How very anyway, American. Taste myself. So, um... Yes, sorry. All comrades and anarcho-communisms aside, the uh, the publican rocks away from your grasp unless you wish to strongly oppose it. Reginald Foxley Smythe. Uh, oh, yes, yeah, sorry. He'd just been poked about this, uh, where he was going. He sort of, he turns towards you there. Woodrow Tango. And a face that, for all the world, looks like you've just punted his dog into a lake. One of complete and utter emotional devastation overcomes him. I don't... <coughs> I don't know. Ah. Uh, might I suggest you try the White Mountain? I heard there was an ancient Roman battle there or something. <laughs> I don't know! <laughs> he starts tearing at his hair and collapses onto the ground, slamming oh his fists into the wet grass. Oh, come on now then, chap. I suggest you get up and get moving wherever you need to get going, then. <laughs> he, I don't uh, think he rightly knows. He he passes out within some minutes of exertion. Oh, damn. Shall we, well... Sandwich? Shall someone carry him back to the pub? <laughs> Indeed, sir. You're gonna just huck him back to the pub? Well, I'm not touching him. Look at the man, he's been rolling about on the floor. Lord knows what he has on him now. Yes, he pr- <laughs> I like to smell the air slightly. <laughs> does it smell like he's washed recently? No, no it does not. He doesn't smell of booze, but he definitely doesn't smell clean. Yes, no, it doesn't, doesn't smell like he's washed in a good few days. The five of you stand there, staring at each other. <laughs> each of you well, completely. I, I said I was going to pick. I already said I was going to pick him up. I oh, sorry, I didn't hear that at all. Oh no, good shit. Um, I was just going to about face and start marching back. Uh, yes. Yeah, I, I will take. I mean, he's he, as mentioned, he doesn't weigh that much at all. I will take um, strength, edge, difficulty five, please, Benji. <laughs> Wait, like strength of like. Sorry, not um, strength, edge. Uh, strength, ath. Athletics. Athletics. I have two degrees of success. I mean, I say strength ass stands for athletics. I like to think it stands for Athelwolf. Got strength ass. Get them squats in. God damn it. I like <laughs> strength Athelwolf. Why are you going to make it strength ass? Because he's thirsty. He's d- deeply thirsty. Thirsty man. I have been quite literally alone for two fucking years here. <laughs> Krona. Like, even the thought of, like, just holding someone's hand is but a dream that I've forgotten the experience I will, of. I, I will fly to England and I will hold your uh, your hand for you, Carl. I mean, you really don't want to at this point. Can, like, it's can, scary can, what it's been doing. You, you shower, clean yourself up a bit, and we can hold hands and watch the sunset come down, and we'll see how it goes. Alright, you got a deal. So, 
Two successes. Yeah, you, you hike him up. He's a bit awkward, and you're honestly more concerned, not about like how difficult it is to carry him, but how much you're going to be able to move him without accidentally breaking bits of him. Nevertheless, you follow the gentleman and uh, working man back towards the pub. <laughs> Actually, we keep saying that, um, what's it called? Uh, Sebastian, uh, Sebastian Thorne, Hobbin Twites, a working man. I actually don't know if he is a working man or if he's just a, a gentleman who's decided to align himself with the working class. Should we check in with Ollie there? Cause, uh, Ollie, how, to what degree are you of the noblesse? Um, none. Zero, zilch. No, okay, so you actually are a working man. I'm, I'm full on working class. I grew up in, in central London, like, you know, piss poor, found mechanics. Did the whole win in the army? I mean, that's mind. a pretty good apprenticeship you got. Like, just yeah. saying. No, I mean that's that's why he's got no respect for any of you because you know he actually did something with his life and started from nothing mm-hmm. and worked his way up to this. You were all yeah, either born friend. into it or born mm-hmm. to incredible talent and then chose to use it serving the wasters of life. Um, I would say out of character, <laughs> but, like it's taken a whole lifetime to be able to properly control my pyrokinetic powers. Like, yeah, but he doesn't know you can do that yet. That's why I say out of character, that's right? Fair. Right. I mean, also, all of his friends were killed in what he views as officers' actions, sending his his com- his comrades forward. Mm. Well, I'm sure if they'd followed the instructions correctly, they wouldn't have died. Ooh, Ooh. fucking hell. Ooh. Ooh. General Hague kind of in here. Yeah, you know what? Your Nicholas regen a point of willpower. Was that said in or out of character? That was out of character. That was out of character, but that's some mm-hmm. good like, mind was, setting. Like, to say it's on brand for like the character of an <laughs> officer for World War One. Like. I mean, to be fair, um, losses among well, yes, but also losses amongst the officer corps in World War One were were kind of insane because they were expected to be at the front of most of the charges. Um, they were armed with a pistol. Yeah. I remember and a soft felt cap. But that oh, said, yeah, but I just mean that mentality. Yeah, exactly. Right? They're like, holy shit! <laughs> How many people got chewed up by machine gun fire in the officer's corps alone? And he's still there, going, "Well, if they'd followed the plan correctly, <laughs> remember, get out of your trench and slowly walk towards the enemy." <laughs> exactly. I actually don't know if Haig ever actually gave that order. If that's the actual thing, or if that's just a myth. <laughs> no, he he actually said that that was the plan of the song. Oh fucking hell! To maintain to maintain discipline across the uh, across the ranks, so they wouldn't break. <gasps> but hey, on the bright side, if we ever do a wraith game, they have an expansion for World War One that's actually really good. We can play as Ollie's dead friends, oh, and or people Timothy Popajack, or people who like, yeah served under Timothy Popajack. Uh, I would actually put it on the books. Like, it, that sounds like a laugh. Would be one hell of a fucking twist if like Ollie as a mechanic, uh, fucking. What's his thingy? Holden Twight got drafted to serve in with the uh, the Royal Tank Corps and, uh, after its inception, <laughs> or even before its inception. Uh, meanwhile, the rest of his pals brigade was put under Captain Timothy Popajack, the uh, the only person who made it out alive. <laughs> <laughs> oh fucking hell! <laughs> I think the thing that I like best about the World War One setting for Wraith is all of the relic biplanes. Anywho. Oh, fucking right. <laughs> Relic biplanes in a setting with flying infantry is the best thing. <laughs> and nothing you can say changes my mind. <laughs> so. The five of you hike back to the pub and are there in short order. It's, uh, call it an hour and a half since you had to slow a little bit to take the guy and to talk to him. Uh, since you, since you left. What are we doing, gents? What's your, what's your plan for the day? <laughs> Bit of a town. Sorry, that was two people talking at once. Go yeah, on. Um, <laughs> oh, God damn it! Quick, quick, quick. Okay, Carl has ranks. I'm going to say, Carl, what are we doing today? Um, I was just going to stoke the fire. However, I'm curious about the silence within the town and would like to explore with uh, Tango. <laughs> Yeah, what what type of what what type of exploration are you doing here? So that I so that I know, so I can figure out what role to ask you. Like, are you going around door to door? Are you just kind of taking a casual walk? Are you like, guess, creeping around town without being seen? Like, starting with any public spots where people might gather, or just like shops and marketplaces. And if no one there, maybe just <coughs> a bit deeper, some doors. Yeah, akin to a morning constitutional. 
Fair, fair. In that case, I will take... I think that'll be Perception Investigation, please. Difficulty 6. Timothy, I have check with as well. I'm going to go also explore, but I'm going to not go with the officer corps. <laughs> what, what? And their little stay with dog. the prisoner and, uh, well, the interrogated ma- to be interrogated man and es- give medical assistance. Uh, who's rolling, anyone? One more. Boom. No specialties. Uh, cool. We'll get to you afterwards, Ollie. Uh, so that is three successes then it is dead silent now the very first thing you notice as you move past uh, uh, out into the street of Tutley Without Wald (laughs) is that beneath the first tree that you come across there are perhaps three dead birds each of them simply a small finch but fallen on the ground On closer inspection, one actually isn't dead, merely twitching lazily, its feet kicking at the air in the throes of some final spasm before it finally passes. Mm. Probably not a great sign. Indeed. I grow concerned. Sorry. I was saying I grow concerned. Most trees that you pass after this (coughs) contain likewise. A small hedgerow contains what seems to be a hedgehog that's given up on life utterly, and though poking with your stick causes it to twitch slightly, it doesn't really move to escape. No, many of the, uh, none of them have as many as 13 dead things beneath them. Uh, not especially, not till you move a rock to see what's happened to insects, and they seem to be just dead by the hundreds. <laughs> I was worried about 13 exactly. Why are you worried about 13 exactly out of interest? I have a phobia of 13. Ah, fair. And I'm 13th generation. <laughs> Said Ewan, noting it down in his little GM notepad. Wow. Interesting. A perfectly dignified GM notepad, thank you. <laughs> so... The first human you encounter is outside lazily watering plants, missing most of them, and not for four streets. You give them a cheery wave as you go past, and after perhaps 15 seconds they wave very slightly back, not making eye contact, almost dropping their can in the process. By the time you come to the main market square of Tutley Without Wald... (laughs) You've seen no more than one or two other people than those inside houses. The square is filled up with uh, stalls, as though getting ready for market day. (laughs) But much of the produce is rotting. A cow tied to a post is transparently dead, collapsed, and in the early stages of putrefaction. Any day now, it will likely explode. Yeah, I pull my handkerchief out again, and... Cover my nose and mouth once more. Yeah, so it's the same. It reeks. And I'm also going to dry heap a few times. The only human in the square, other than perhaps a couple of people in houses who pull their curtains shut as you uh, walk uh, walk near, (laughs) is a single elderly woman, sweep, sweep, sweeping away at the street with a broom. She doesn't react as you approach. Hello there, ma'am. Hello there. Doing a bit of sweeping around the old rot market, are we? I've got to make ready. Make ready? We're having a fair. Oh, and when's that, then? When we arrive. Oh, and where are you arriving? At the fair. What's the occasion? We're arriving. Hmm. (laughs) From where? She sort of stops sweeping. Her eye twitches sloppily. Bits of the eye crust fall away. I don't know. Oh dear. She oh dear. holds still and shivers. And then begins bashing the room. Not too violently into the ground, but slowly building. I don't know and I can't. 
I don't know. <laughs> I'll point my magnet stick at her and see if it looks like the other guy. <laughs> All right, uh, that'll be the same roll. We're going to reduce the diff by one because you know what you're looking for. So I think that's diff seven. What do we say? It was, it was uh, uh, tech and perception, was it? Yeah, tech perception. I think that's one. Two. <laughs> So, God damn it. Uh, sorry, I took a pill and I'm still sleazy. It's not the pill, is that why? Bad. No. If a cold pill <laughs> stops you walking, dude, then maybe it's not you. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Uh, yes, you're detecting, uh, you think, the same magnetic field coming from this woman. Something connecting her, however dimly, to some other place. Some distant place. <laughs> mm. Stronger or weaker? More or less the same. <laughs> I was oh, mentioned I'm the scan Popper Jack with it. <laughs> Popper Jack, he's sort of scanning the woman idly, and then stops, swivels, and points the Madu Hickey at you. <laughs> now then, Mister Tango, what do you think you're doing? Oh, just curious. That's all. A tech perception roll, please. Hmm. Is... I mean, we'll say it was the same difficulty I probably should have said. Um, a simple failure. You feel like there's something in the readings here, but you can't make it out. And a slow sensation of creeping dread overcomes you. You can think of one reason why there might be a reading that you can't quite make out. I'll scan myself with the blue hickey. Okay, same diff. <laughs> and there it is, as you scan yourself. A very, very slight version of the same pattern you're detecting on the elderly woman. She has more or less stopped her bashing and returned to her sweeping. Uh, well, enjoy then, ma'am. One last question, m'lady. Um, when did you last sleep? At that, she just keels over on the ground, sobbing and crying. The broom falls from her hand. <laughs> oh, what have you gone and done now? <laughs> oh, it's a simple question. If she can't handle it, she shouldn't be outside. <laughs> Meanwhile... <laughs> Elsewhere. <laughs> Hold them twice. What are we up to? So I'm going to wander deliberately in the direction that takes me still into town, but furthest away from the office, offices. Yeah, you can, you, you can take a rough guess where they would have been going. Uh, and yeah, I would like to wander around until I bump into a person. Also, I'm taking a large wrench with me and putting it in my, uh, like, a, like a hoop or something, like that, some sort of mechanics. Toolkit thingy, just to, just in case. You've got That's a wrench a holster. Yeah, a wrench holster. Along with like various other little bits. But to be fair, if anyone's going to have a wrench holster, it's, it's the, the guy who time. came up with a wrench jitsu for his previous character. <laughs> yeah, he never really used it. It was a valid, valid form. <laughs> Um, yeah, this 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 wrench, you know, no one believes you, but this one day just seemed to fall from the sky as though it was being ejected from another dimension in space. Uh, <laughs> it's a strange yellowy gold color. It's your lucky wrench, you know. Hmm. <laughs> I guess it's add, always struck anything true. Add add one Dwemer wrench to your inventory. Apparently. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the crossover we really don't need. One, when, uh, <laughs> so, I'm not going to call for a roll on that one then, because you're not really looking for clues, you're just looking to run into someone. We've clearly established that you'll find someone eventually. Mm. <laughs> the first couple of people that you encounter are inside their houses, and their curtains are drawn sluggily, uh, sluggily? sluggishly, but uh, firmly as you approach. But eventually you find someone after maybe five, six minutes of walking and searching. <laughs> Out tending their garden with a pair of shears. They, uh, they're pruning lazily at a branch, uh, at a branch, at a, uh, a hedge 
mostly the lower branches. They don't react to your presence. Sir, what may have been a somewhat refined gentleman, he looks quite scruffy. His hair is unbrushed, and there's what appears to be a fairly dry bird shit that's slowly crawled down the top of his balding scalp. Uh, I'm going to put one hand... Oh, well, first of all, actually, I'm going to ask him hello. And as I say hello, I'm just going to put one hand on his shoulder and try and turn it around towards me. He sort of quietly resists you. You could force the issue if you'd like, but it's clear he's got some level of control. I'm going to go around to him. I'm going to make, sh- make sure... Is, is his ha- has his hands got any tools in, like anything sharp? Like yes, a big pair of shears. Okay. Could I see if I can take the shears away from him? Uh, you might have to grab for them, I think. Yeah, Which that's is, fine. Uh, potentially, for the record, potentially dangerous if you think he's likely to turn hostile. True. Uh, okay. Um, I'm going to continue. I'm going to look at. There's two guys you said there, right? No, just the one. Him, just the one. Him okay. Shears. <laughs> you've you've come across other people, but they've they've like disengaged preemptively. Mm-hmm. So this guy's out sta- uh, outside. Cool. Yeah. I'm. You know. Fine. I. You know. No. I am going to try and pull the. Uh, no. I'm going to go around to the front of him. Yeah, and I uh, take my hand off his shoulder, and I'm going to look in directly in the eyes. I'm blinking for ten seconds. <laughs> yeah, he uh, he doesn't look back at you, but he does kind of give you a, a grunt of affirmation to acknowledge you're there. <clears throat> he continues yeah. chop, chop, chopping away at the branches, moving um, lower and lower with the shears as he prunes this. Uh... Do you have any gardening knowledge at all? No, I wouldn't have thought so. It's fair. And you're Most... south South London in 1919, so you're probably not great on it, just generally. Um, but he, the bush definitely doesn't look too healthy. He's just kind of mashing it. Sorry, what were you going to say? Uh, I want to see what happens if I damage the bush a little bit. He's going to break his bush in front of him. Yep. Man can't do shit about <laughs> it. Or maybe he can. That's what I want to find out. Have you even said hello yet? Yep. I went, I went, hello, and I tried to turn him around, and he resisted, so I just turned around and looked him dead in the eyes and smacked his bush. Ollie's role-playing a Londoner. <laughs> <laughs> oi, oi, what's up, mate? <laughs> That's oi, oi, the Sav- worst London. Do you, don't you dare say oi, oi, Savaloy. I just did. I can't stop <laughs> fucking out you. <laughs> right. What did he do? Okay. <laughs> he blinks upwards at that bleary, unfocused eyes, shoot you a death stare as you kick at his bush. You leave my petunias alone. I'm gonna hit his petunias again. What is your end goal here, Ollie? Why are you beating on a man's petunia? Oh, because clearly this man is not quite all there. He's suffering from the same affliction, I think, as the man we followed to White Mountain. Oh, Alright, because just, just to clarify... You explicitly put yourself far away from the rest of the group, and if you get stabbed in the stomach with a pair of shears, no one is going to hear your screams. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Don't worry about it. Just, just so we're just so we're clear on that. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> because on that note, you get stabbed in the stomach. With a pair of shears. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Would you like care to restate your previous action for me, Ollie? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. Um. Okay, I'm just going to put the wrench close to the bush and just see if he reacts more and more, and then take it away, put it put it close, take it away again. Oh yeah, sorry, you don't have any gardening, so you have no way of knowing that these are very clearly not petunias. Uh, he, he sort of... <laughs> the hedge for a start. Yeah, well, exactly. <laughs> but you, know. you did say hedge, and you said petunias, and yeah. now I'm wondering who has more gardening knowledge. <laughs> no, it's he said petunias, it's very clearly a hedge. Mm. Okay, okay, fine. I thought it might be something else. <laughs> I suppose I can't be too sarky. It is entirely fair to wonder if, oh, is that a deliberate role play thing, or is my GM just a fucking idiot? Because it could very little easily. Little bit of column A, little whoa, bit of column whoa, B. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> this is your campaign pitch, you dick. And I know the difference between petunias and a hedge. <laughs> fucking. God damn it. Okay. <laughs> you draw your wrench out of its holster. 
the gold catching the early morning sunlight. Oh, sorry, it's Yorkshire. The uh, early morning Mist. gloom. <laughs> <laughs> what little sunlight there is in this desolate northern wasteland. <laughs> and move it closer to the hedge. The man continues to scythe away with his shears, but stops, uh, but stops paying attention to them. Simply looking up at you under a hooded, uh, hooded sun hat. Not under a hooded sun hat. He's not wearing a hat. Looks up at you under dim red hooded eyes, blinking away crusts of lacking sleep from the corners. <laughs> Stay away from my petunias. Uh- I would like to strike him uh, his hand in his shearing hand with my wrench. Surprise what? attack. Why are you doing Not in any man? way a surprise attack, for the record. He's looking right at you. He's and looking right at you, and you have been openly hostile to him. Yeah. Directly and before this. And you're currently I'm, moving your I'm, wrench I'm, I'm, towards his hedge, and we'll have to draw it back to smack him. Like, you bring it back, and then you know I'm not. Just, I'm not behind him. <laughs> At the very least, he's already on guard, right? Yeah, yeah, guarding his petunias. As but as you fine. as you go to draw your wrench back to smack at the man, there is a sickening, wet, bony crunch. He doesn't seem to notice it, but you find your eyes drawn down, where you can see he's very clearly sheared off several of his toes. Oh. Are you all right? <laughs> My petunias. You mean your petunias? I and think at that he more or less lunges for you. Yeah, okay, I roll for uh, initiative. Take a minus two penalty for a shit pun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, tempting as it is to establish that we can give Ollie combat malices for making shit puns, or indeed puns. I feel that would be crossing the boundaries of fairness. I, I would report you to uh, whichever higher GM power you subscribe yeah, to. GM's association. <laughs> Look, I don't play by the GMA's rules. <laughs> We're going to house rule it. We're going to use the grenade rules. And you know what else? I'm just going to railroad the shit out of this whole encounter. No, I like. Um, Alright, well, rocks fall, werewolves. Uh, so, what are we doing, Ollie? Uh, I mean, if he's lunging at me, I'm going to. I'm just going to try and bat them out the way uh, with my wrench, and I suppose go for just a clonk over the head with him. That's fair, okay. I will take. Uh, we'll call it a skill shot. A uh, headshot, so it's diff 8, right? But that's. You, you were winding back for an attack anyway. So we're not going to call... Oh, you can use the higher of dex or strength, whichever's, whichever's better. Um, oh, and, and then strength. melee. <laughs> oh, strength. So and strength, melee, melee yeah. diff 8. 60 turn. Let's spend a willpower as well. My last willpower. Ooh. And I have broad shouldered, broad shouldered as a specialty in my... Uh, uh, this strength. definitely comes <laughs> under broad shoulders. <laughs> You're clonking right. him on the head. <laughs> That's three tens. Well, three successes. Yeah. Then, uh, no, net four because it's the ten counts for okay. two. You spent a willpower and you got an eight as well. Yep. Yeah. You 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 clog. You twat him on the side of the head. That is a thorough clog. He lunges at you with the shears, snarling, blood pouring from his uh, stump of a left foot with its single remaining toe. And in one fairly easy and smooth swing, a skill honed in the... Which bit of London are you from? Southwest, east or north? Uh, south-ish, I would say, yeah. All right. Pretty Fucking, smooth. Southern- Pretty smooth. Fucking southerners. And with skills honed in uh, South London bar fights. Fucking Croydon Holborn over here. Ugh. <laughs> south London. Yeah. Fucking well, southerners. All right, one, that's not what that accent means in this context, and, and two, South London is the best London. Mm-hmm. Fuck off. No one likes North London. It's North London forever. What? <laughs> Where is this coming from? Since when have you been deemed North London? Since I was born there? Ah, oh, well, I can see how that might cause you some issues, but I think you, you've got over them, mostly. Why are you regressing now? <laughs> All of London sucks. I mean, well, it does. It really does. 
It's a beautiful city, is London. Fucking shit off. So. Did Holborn just kill him then? Well, I think that's up to Holborn. He got four successes on a headshot from someone who's probably quite weak. Did you just kill a man, Holborn? No, I didn't. As much as I wouldn't mind killing what looks like someone who's a member of the officer no, class. You, you, you knocked him stone cold unconscious. He's like lunging towards you midair, you twatted him in the side of the head, and he goes comedically flying off to the side like one of those American cartoons you may have seen. Uh, mm. His shears spiral off and embed themselves bodily in the dirt, the soft, wet dirt nearby. I'm going to use one of my oily rags and my one dot in medicine to try and tourniquet his, uh, his, his foot. I can't lie. I was staying quiet and hoping you forgot about that. So when you left, I'll be like, "What's the chance as he bleeds out from that?" <laughs> yeah, I'll take I'll take uh, Dex Medicaid tourniquet, especially if you're not trying to save the rest of the foot. It's probably not the hardest thing in the world I don't, um, to do it right, but still cause damage. Um, I, I, we'll call it def five. Oh, four D ten. Def five. Hot, 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 hot. Yeah, one success. <laughs> <laughs> Would it be funny if he botched and you just like pull the rest of his spine out by the hole in his foot? Um, because that's a thing that can medically happen, you know. I've seen that in science. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, you've you've uh, you've had to do this before in the war to uh, little yeah to, to little Timmy scratch feet. You learn not to scratch his feet. <laughs> Learned not to scratch his feet after he lost half of them, but uh, he made it back after Holman Twite tourniqueted both of his remaining stumps. No, no. That, that serves you well here, Holman. Okay, you have successfully saved the man's life and cost him his foot. Well, you know, he deserved it for trying to shank him. Actually, also, um, to be strictly fair, with the course he was on with the shears, he probably would have cut his toes off regardless of what you'd done. So, technically, you actually did just save his life. Despite uh, your best I... attempts to do otherwise. <laughs> what are we doing? Um, <laughs> I am going to... Is he near a house that looks like it's hit? Well, I mean, I can't... Yeah, you're standing in a, front gu- uh, in a front garden. Cool. I'm going to take him into his house. Uh... If I can. I'm going to say the door can be open first, this I suppose. The door's almost wide open. Cool. I'm going to take him in. I'm going to find a chair. Yeah. Uh, put him in that chair. And uh, I'm going to tie him up with whatever I can find. You've There's got... like some rope in the garden shed or whatever. Just a bare few minutes, but that should be fine. Um, his garden shed is not at all going to be locked, and there's almost certainly going to be rope in there. So... <laughs> Tying the man to the chair is, I would say, thoroughly within your skill set. I will not require a roll from that. He snaps sluggishly awake. Using the word sluggishly far too much. He snaps lazily awake about a minute and a half after you've finished tying him up. Petunias. Say again? Petunias. Interesting. So knocking him out didn't reset him. Sort of click my fingers in front of him. His <laughs> eyes are unfocused. His head lolls. <laughs> uh, um, perception Medicaid diff four, please, Ollie. Uh, yeah, perception Medicaid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, on four successes, he looks extremely heavily concussed from the wrench he took to the head. <laughs> <laughs> from the brutal just, assault by well. the comet. By the young common man. <laughs> oh, well, you know what? This is why this is why the nobility just need to have some common sense knocked into them. And if that requires a concussion or five along the way, who am I to say and judge? But he's just um, a regular person that's fine. Nope. <laughs> legit just standing there trimming his hedge. Yeah, you did start this, so I'm pretty sure you hit first. I think you'll find that the man was clearly possessed, and as a person who is an expert in possessions, I'm totally not an expert in possessions. Uh, I felt I was fully within my legal duty to do that. I made a citizen's concussion. You walked up to him, wound him up, then hit him with a wrench. And then you tied you... him to a chair for some reason. I thought yeah. you were going to nicely put him in bed and leave, and you tied him to <laughs> a chair. <laughs> Because I wanted to see what happened when he woke up. That is actually genuinely a new record for time to get into a hostage situation into the campaign. 
<laughs> Unironically, three sessions is a personal best. <laughs> and the worst thing about that is it's the slowest we've been. Um, so I ask him, does he know his name? <laughs> Uh, he's he's extremely heavily concussed. This is going to take some time if you want to get this stuff out of him. Yeah, I can wait. Okay, in that I'll, case, I'll close the front door. <laughs> this is your house now. Uh, yeah. We'll skip over to oh, Benji oh, then. Oh, now it's our house. <laughs> this is the people's house. You've commandeered it for the revolution. <laughs> this house has been designated large enough for ten families. <laughs> Benji. What are we doing? How's uh, uh, giving medical attention to this bloke to make sure he doesn't die? <laughs> yeah, I'll take um, perception medicine if six, please, to assess what's wrong with him. Still can't open my character sheet. It's very annoying. <laughs> uh, I had to like close and open your thing. Do you need? I did to... that. Oh fuck! Do you need me to snip things for you? I have most of my stuff. I think I have three perception. You do. Okay, that's two successes. Or did you say diff five? Uh, yes. Uh, I think I said diff five. Three successes. Three successes, then. It's four, isn't it? Oh, right. Sorry, Sorry I, I said I said diff six, not five. My bad. So oh, it is two successes. Two successes. Um, <clears throat> yes. So as you uh, take him upstairs, he's sort of fighting you feebly when he starts to wake up a bit, but he's still babbling. This is someone who's not in their right mind. Um... Uh, as you start to like strip away his clothes and examine him for, for issues, you can see that he is in horrific shape. He's very obviously cripplingly undernourished. On closer inspection, it looks like he's delirious from lack of sleep, uh, probable thirst. Uh, there are welts over much of his body. It looks like either he's been hit or he's been hitting himself onto things. Um, if, if you didn't know better, you'd look like, uh, you'd, uh, you'd think you were looking at a, a starving malaria patient. Which case, I would... Well, my plan at the beginning of the session was to buy three dots of Seneschal, because I have the XP to do it, and I wanted to finish off being a butler. Um, so I was say, can I go and uh, make up some kind of solution that I can feed him? Like, you know, uh, a solution that he could actually, you know, take without just trying to spoon-feed him meat or something. Something that I could give a man in this condition that wouldn't just kill him. You can probably make him some kind of like. I suppose the difficulty is getting him to drink it without him just choking on it. That's why you make like a milkish solution <laughs> and then you soak a rag in it and then put it in his mouth and they suck on the rag. Yeah, but he's not going to suck on it, is the thing, is he? No, I suppose not. I don't have access to an IV or something. Yeah. Damn it, Carl. Thirsty bitch. And I would say we're not going down the, like, rubber tube force-feeding uh, <laughs> path. I mean, that's Guantanamo shit right there. That's, Especially that's, suffragette shit. That's, yeah, um, suffragette shit for the period. Uh, yeah, so so in your, in your professional medical opinion, there's fairly little you can do for this patient. Um, he would need to <coughs> want to eat, or you would need access to, like, uh, more solvent foods. Hmm. Is he awake? Can I question him? He is awake, but he's he's pretty thoroughly delirious. It's pretty obvious as you talk to him. <laughs> hmm. Shame. Hmm, not sure then. We can skip on if you like. Uh, can I try a Medicaid roll to see if there's anything I could do for him that would keep him alive and sort of bring him around? Yeah, I mean, you already got successes on it. I'll, I'll say you you can give him water and that'll definitely delay death. Um, because water you can more or less make him take. Uh, you can probably even try... Uh, you're not going to be able to get any good milk. Is the thing. You know what terrible thing that I can do to make him live? Shoot. You can infuse food rectally. It won't keep you alive forever, but you can do it. I refuse to believe that's possible. Is that a thing? It, it's totally I, a thing. It, I, it's I terrible. Agree, but I think I might have heard something similar. Well, it's because you can absorb food through your gut. You can absorb yeah. nutrients through your oh gut. So God. if you can get it in there, you, you can oh do God, it. Oh my God, it is a thing. Yeah, the only reason why it goes in top side is so that it gets mashed into the easy pulp to kind of work through the system. What's this? Oh my god. 
Yeah, it's terrible, but it is it's medically say, possible. Yeah, it's why they say don't put alcohol up your butt because it doesn't go through your liver. Okay. okay. Well, it's not even that. It does go straight to your bloodstream. Yeah, that's which part goes, of what I mean. It's well, not filtered. It still well, goes through your liver, but it doesn't go through your stomach. And that's stuff. fair. You've got three dots of medical uh, medicine. You um, you would be aware of this technique, and it's definitely around in the period. In fact, apparently, it's been uh, not recently, <laughs> recently, but you know, eighteen forty, they used it on an American president. Um, so sure, you can you can give him a nutrient enema. Wasn't aware of that. <laughs> uh, Alright, hang a sec. I need to Google something incredibly So that unpleasant. episode of South Park wasn't entirely in That's just exactly then. what I was thinking. Yeah, it's... Fucking it's what they did to a bunch of the people at Guantanamo Bay. If, if I didn't work... To keep them alive for ages, and the only thing they could... Well, the only food they got was rectally. It's like, what the fuck? If I didn't work where I work, this would almost certainly be putting me on a list somewhere. <laughs> I mean, what's the thing? You're already not on a list. Yeah, I'm a hundred percent already on a list. Do you have any like the shit that I have to Google for my job? I once clicked the button that said this will put you on a list, and yeah, that definitely put me on a list. <laughs> yeah, I'd wager most of us here are on some kind of list. Cool. Where were we at? Oh, <laughs> going back to the rectal nutrients for just one second. Um, I'm sorry, guys. I'm, I'm sorry, but it's one of those things where <laughs> it is right. relevant. Okay. Uh, Are you going to do this to everyone in the town? <laughs> Please, no. No. I don't know. No. I, don't, I don't even know what I'd ask, to, ask you to roll for, like, mass rectal nutrients. Setting up a field hospital for rectal reading. <laughs> okay, okay. Nutrient enemas. Let's go. Okay, that'll be um, medicine uh, dexterity. Okay. Creed, could you roll that for me at 6010? Sorry, I have a baby yeah. squirming in my arms. So. That's entirely fair. We'll call it diff. You're having this conversation whilst your baby is in your arms and you're talking he doesn't about un- He doesn't enemas. understand. Given the shit that he had earlier, where that went, that shit went up into his own hair, <laughs> no, he can hardly talk. Sort of... Who's child? Hmm? <laughs> why is, why is your child got poo in its hair? Because he pooed it out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, especially if, the like... The other uh, side, put... right? No, didn't you know your Nicholas? Hair comes... goes on the back of your head, young poo, Nicholas. Poo comes out the yes, mouth of babies. <laughs> no, young Nicholas, trust me, poo comes out the mouth of babies for the first six months as well as the ass. Oh my god. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's actually even though it's diff eight, that's actually two successes. This Reginald Foxley Smythe, with some time for himself, sets about his work with a menacing hum. Gentlemen require information, it's my job to procure it. No matter how distasteful. The uh, kitchen is... Again. Which guy is this? <laughs> this is the, the publican. The pub. This is the yeah. publican. The kitchen is fortunately well stocked. We won't go into the gritty details, but suffice to say, on two successes, the operation is a success, and the publican yes. is thoroughly upset. <laughs> As well he might be, under <laughs> ordinary circumstances alone. As, as everyone would be. Hey, Mo, I Some people are into that kind of thing. I'm just saying. God damn it, Carl. God damn it. Why <laughs> <laughs> do have to make the nutrient enemas weird? Let's be honest. Like, I didn't make it any more weird. Also, let's be fair here. UGM groups that have dick hydras in it, this is the hardly the, the weirdest dick thing you've ever done. It's perfectly innocent. Yeah, we're tame by comparison to that group. <laughs> yeah, both of the groups say that. You're always the the, the, the real the real. <laughs> yeah, and they're wrong. Yeah, they don't <laughs> ever say so they're more tame than us. Like that, I just can't believe. And no, uh, you'll do a lot more casual war crimery than they do. Yeah, but that's fine. It's at least it's not <laughs> weird. <laughs> Ollie, you're in both groups. Like, weigh in on this. He's not paying attention. He's he's eating what looks like buffalo he's wings. Like he knows this. He's the source in both groups. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Ollie is the he Lord is the of Oh, he's noticed we're talking about him. Oh, no. oh there we go. Uh, I mean, yeah, roll the thing. Uh, difficulty number. <laughs> uh, anyway, we should, like, carry yeah, on. Yeah, let's call pace on our stuff. Um, so, in that case, as, as you go about your grisly business uh, there, Reginald Foxley Smythe will... Uh, We'll loop back over to the gentleman at the market. What are we doing? Um, upon, like, 
seeing the state of the current situation, I'm just going to go to the nearest house and see if the front door's unlocked. It is. It yours eerily opened on poorly... <coughs> exactly. On poorly oiled hinges. The interior is dark. Dark, musty, and smelling vaguely of rot. Excuse me? Is there anyone home? Your uh, your door was open. No one? For, for a moment, there's nothing. And then just a distant hiss. <coughs> I don't suppose there are any bushes or trees or anything nearby the door. Like, was it a windy night? Like, <laughs> that sounds a bit spooky, my dear <laughs> friend. <laughs> it's it's looking lovely and surprisingly friendly out on the gloomy Yorkshire day outside, but inside the darkened house with the curtains drawn, the voice very clearly came from inside. Perhaps just a few rooms over. Oh no, no! I want to pick up a leaf. And oh. purposefully misinterpret what was said. <laughs> I see. We've gone through the Ollie school of getting stabbed, have we? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I didn't end up stabbed, so I'm counting that as win. I'll uh, point my magnetron towards the source of the noise. I think it probably needs to be closer than that. That said, you are fully able to pick up a leaf there, Sebastian uh, Thorn- uh, Thornbury. Wonderful. Uh, I'm going to confidently stride in. Like I, I presume that, like, uh, say the voice came from a certain point within the house that I can discern generally which direction. Yeah, lower floor, left hand side, one or two rooms in. You stride in, leaf in hand, intent on setting up a comedic misunderstanding in order to start the conversation off on a friendly foot. Oh, I have your leaf here. Um. I uh, would have said gentleman, but presuming by the huskiness of the voice, I can't help one way or the other. Like, yeah, it sounded perhaps old. The door, uh, the first door you come past is a living room. You gingerly duck your head through and can see there's no one in there. By the time you come out, there's someone in the, call, uh, the hallway with you. An ancient, oh. papery woman, clutching a very... Very long carving knife in her hand. I uh, see this. It's a doorway. <laughs> no, all you heard is he went inside, there was a little bit of footsteps, and then the, you startled me. I'm now, like, eyes fixated on large carving knife. Do you speak Latin by any chance, Sebastian? Uh, not on my character sheet, no. Do you have any dots in academics, I guess, would be the question in that case. No. No, yeah. She begins shrieking in a language you do not understand, but are able to vaguely recognize as Latin-esque. I mean, I presume I've been to Sunday Mass for Christmas, at least. Yeah, but Church of England, right? So it's not in Latin. Uh, yeah, point, actually. Under the whole selling point. Uh, that's not the whole selling point, though. It's still high oh, church oh. as fuck. Church of England is, is like... No, but the Church of England in English. Uh, I suppose that's true. Uh, sorry, Can I we... tell what she's shouting? Do you have a dot of academics? Got two. Okay, so from inside, you hear a, oh, you startled me, and then just screaming in Latin, I will take perception academics difficulty six, please. <laughs> Go on, what's she actually saying, huh? I had four years of Latin. And I remember, like, six words. I know more than that, and I I didn't do Latin. I don't know any Latin. uh, Technically, you do. Exit. Exit is Latin. A, A, you do, because you know Julius Caesar quotes. Low words don't count, and quotes barely count. Anywho, that's two successes, I I believe, there, Creed. (laughs) Yeah. Um, yeah, so she is shrieking about what she, she would be. <laughs> yes, she is shrieking about the uh, inferiority of the locals. That they will bend the knee before Caesar. Shrieking oh. about the superiority of Rome. 
and uh, on on uh, Sebastian's side, the old woman comes at you with the carving knife, screaming. What do? Um, I just want to clarify that. Can I at least recognise that it's like? I say Latin E, or at least similar to the voice I heard in my head overnight. Yeah, like a little voice in the back of your mind sort of detachedly remarks on that, oh, well, that sounds kind of Latin y, as the old woman swings the, swings the knife at you. Cool. Um, could I possibly roll something brawly to, like, use my, uh, of class boxing skills sure, to like can, dodge out of the lunge. You can you can box the old woman. Yeah, let's. I'll I'll take Dex brawl. Are you are you <laughs> wait? Are you counter attacking or are you dodging? Um, I can't lie. There's part of me that really wants to just like clock her in the face. Um, but at this current point, I'm more concerned about not getting stabbed. Yeah, you know, you'd, you'd hate to escalate things, obviously. Meanwhile, on the other side of the village, as far away as out of earshot as he can be. Uh, Common man goes, here we, twice, go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Paul White is dragging an unconscious villager back into his house and making a mental note as to which locations are most likely to have rope to tie him up before he wakes up. Um... Can I shout back in Latin? You certainly can, but let's let's get Carl's roll done first. Uh, okay, was standard, the diff? So standard combat diff is diff six, but we're going to add an extra one because she's got a fucking knife and she's very close to you. So diff seven. Um. Oh, this could go quite bad. I wanna. And a willpower. willpower. You got but one at back. The same time. You did get one back earlier. Oh, I, I did not realise. I must have. Yeah, you and said. No, I thought that was for your Nicholas. No, oh, I thought that was for Carl being posh. Oh, I suppose it was. No, no, Nicholas. that was. No, it was for it was for young Nicholas. Uh, young Nicholas being gloriously um, classist. Um, fuck it, live life on the edge. Get stabbed. Get stabbed. Ah, <laughs> four successo. Four out of four. Wait, no, no you said six it, plus one. Oh, yeah, okay, so two. Diff seven, Sorry. Yeah, two successes, though, is still two successes. It would have been. <laughs> so, yeah, no, you, you, your boxer's training kicks in and you duck backwards, backpedaling out of the hallway, uh, just in time to slam backwards into Woodrow Tango. Woodrow, what are you saying in Latin? I was going to say, uh, I think Caesar's dead. <laughs> you get about as far as, I think Caesar, before... Out of the gloom comes Sebastian Thornbury, bodily slamming into you as the old woman sides at him with the knife. knife. Hello there, old chap. Um, as I hear Caesar, I just holler, Ave! Ave! I, I mean, like, purely that's out of character, because we've established my character doesn't know yeah. uh, that. Uh, I actually don't know what Ave means, I'm afraid. Greetings. It's a... It's oh. a- it's a version of hello. Oh, right. Sorry. I was thinking Salve, because that's what they have in that plebs show. Uh, Salve is the, um... Salve, Aop. Romeo. Salve is the Aop. Yeah. Whereas oh, Salve is like the... like Channel 4 one? Yeah. Uh, on that show. It's got a really yeah. good soundtrack. Yeah, whereas Salve is, like, the official one. Okay, so the, the two of you backpedal carried by the force of Sebastian Thornbury's uh, dodge out of the house, and the old woman charges after you, knife still swinging, still screaming. Uh, Popa Jack, what are you doing at this point? <laughs> You've been muted for a while, by the way, Nicholas. He's being classist still, is my guess. He's uh, probably uh, being classist somewhere. Until Nick responds, I would like to look for the nearest, like, at minimum, fist-sized rock. It's a garden. So you, I would assume there might be some rocks lining the path. You can you can uh, snatch one up real quick. Yeah, and I'm gonna sling it right at her. Now, when you say sling it at her, do you mean like hurl it at her head, or like clock her one in the skull? Oh, like I mean, like hurl it. You know, like as you dip down to grab it and then yeah. just follow through. Okay. Get rock. So proper. <laughs> Reject, uh, reject, wrench, return to rock. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, well, I have strong opinions. No fancy right. space wrench here. Well, I mean, like, because I never put my shotgun down, so in my mind, I've been carrying around a shotgun this whole time as well. Um, That's but I true. don't want to really just shotgun her. 
Oh, you could hit him with the shotgun. On if he's shouting about Caesar ass. I don't think I'd be. Also, given the shotgun has a metal barrel, you could parry the ba- You could parry her <laughs> fucking slashes with the shotgun. I kind of don't want to get within stabbing range again. Yeah, it's like a shotgun is quite a smooth barrel. If or just you know slant. poke her in the face with it. Uh, I'll throw go on you. now, get. I will. <laughs> I will <laughs> oh, is that your Nicholas back? Yeah, sorry about that. Sorry, no worries. Um, we were just saying, well, uh, did you want to? Did you want to intervene here, Nicholas? What are you up to? Uh, she's just attacking us, is she? Yeah, they, the two have backpedaled out the house, and the old woman is still screaming in Latin and charging, charging after, knife in hand. Can I tell what she's saying in Latin? Uh, do you have any dots of academics? I do. Uh, I think we charged Creed perception academics. Was it diff six Creed? <laughs> No, he didn't say anything, so I'll assume I asked if Tiff Six last time. Oh, I said think so, sorry. Yeah, oh, fair. And that was a moot point, but when <laughs> yeah. the Romans were speaking it, it obviously wouldn't have been a dead language, right? But nowadays, or in 1919, it's a dead language. So would it be pronou- Would it be understandable? And this is our character. And well, a reach, I mean, and a lot of churches still used it, especially... Not the um, same Latin, though. church Latin, though, Ecclesiastical yeah. Latin, no, to be, not... To be fair, depends on whether you assume that you're dealing with someone who is speaking, oh, Latin, and this is inspired in them through magical bullshit or if you're dealing with someone who just already spoke Latin and in their delirious state is now chanting it at people. Because yeah, unless you actually knew the difference you would assume one or the other sort of thing. Perception, academics, yeah? Yeah. Uh, so that was one success. Yeah, so it's a bit difficult to make out. She's yelling something about like Caesar and uh, the inferiority of someone uh, and how people who aren't Romans suck, something along those lines. Okay. Yeah. She's slurring she's a still, lot of it. Is she still in the house or is she outside the house? No, now? she, um, what's it called? Sebastian backed up, uh, boxer like, backpedaling away, slammed into, uh, Woodrow Tango at the entrance. Woodrow was in the process of shouting back in Latin, also something about Caesar, according to your ears. Um, and then, that's where the old woman's caught up with them and they're just about reacting and this is your like brief window if you want to do something before we go through with Carl's action. Uh, I'll draw the pistol and make sure I'm outside of the I'm assuming there's a little front garden. Just make sure I'm just yeah. outside of that. And I'm gonna wait. If she if she keeps on coming at us outside the house She's she's she's, she's rushed out of the house. She's like, like this old lady spry. Yeah. I'm just going to be yes. uh, backing I'll, away. <laughs> I'll, I'll pull the pistol and I'll just like, calm down, lady! Okay, it's a valid attempt, but sadly she ignores you. Uh, the best you get is Woodrow Tangle, uh, Tangle, Woodrow Tango, scrabbling backwards out of the garden in uh, fear of oh, the knife-wielding granny. I changed my mind, but I instead want to get close with my magnet reader. <laughs> <laughs> then changing flow midstream and going at her with the magnet reader. Um, well, let's see how Carl's action goes. Carl. I guess that's Dex Firearms Diff 8 to snatch up a rock and just, like, thwack it at her. Uh, even though I'm about a hundred years too early. Yeet. <laughs> that's a <sighs> botch. You don't let go, and the arm comes your penis. You, uh, you do let go. Unfortunately, it. I'm trying to think. You do let go, but you you miss time when you let go. Woodrow Tango. Coming Sorry. Up, coming up behind him, <laughs> the rock flies at you. Away in the rock, Johnson. Sorry. Dex, Dex, add diff seven, please, Tango, not to get beamed in the skull with a rock. What? Dex, uh, athletics, was it? Yeah. Oh, it's interesting. We have some of that now. <laughs> yeah, you, uh, you managed to duck your skull out of the way on what looks like four successes, so it, it hits you in the shoulder and you, you go down, but no lasting damage. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> with a gentlemanly cry of, oof! 
<laughs> you are set hurtling into the ground, uh, hurtling to the ground, just about managing not to land on your extremely expensive gear. All of the lung, uh, all of the lung, all of the air knocked out of your lung. The old woman, by marked contra- uh, contrast, sides with the knife. Let's have a roll. Oh dear, that's three successes. Is she fighting like she's trained with a blade? Uh, she looks like she's a dab hand with it, but not super trained. The old midwife's profile again. I'm tr- I didn't. I didn't expect to have to stab someone today. I don't think you'll be getting into fucking combat. I'm trying to look up what the fucking knife stats are. <laughs> Damn it, Ollie! You did this. You started them down this violent path. They were so polite till you did this. He's I didn't want to violent. get violent. I just wanted to commit some minor larceny. <laughs> I just wanted to give people the people's concussion. Like this. Okay, so... Does the phrase, these violent delights of violent ends, does ring to mind now, though. So that'll be... Damage is strength. Cool. Uh, Five. Uh, right, okay. So you get your. You can't soak lethal with stamina because you're only immortal, which means you'll get a dodge roll. Like Carl will do Dex Ath, um, Div 6. But you're you're likely to get shanked. You need technically five successes to negate the entire thing. Fuck, it's going to be difficult. Ah, it's a botch. Well, oh no. Fortunately for you, you're not allowed to botch combat rolls, so. It can't get worse, but that will be <laughs> five levels of lethal damage as the old woman's knife all but sinks directly into your chest through your ribs. She loses, oh her, my. <laughs> she loses her grip on it as you keel backwards, fountaining blood. A whole not wanting to stab an old woman thing. <laughs> This is why you just go straight to beating them over the head, see? Uh, Popa Jack, I believe you had an action queued for this eventuality. Uh, yes, I'd like to shoot her in the head, please. Your officer's training tells you that center mass is the sensible shot. Center mass it is. Diff 6 versus diff 8, for the record. Oh, hey, yeah, fair enough. Uh, this is also quite close, so uh, close but not close enough that it's like fucking with your pistol range. Uh, range. So we'll knock one off the difficulty for that. So that'll be Dex Firearms Diff Five. Fuck off! Can you imagine? I guess my luck oh, soaking God. has ended today. <laughs> it really has. <laughs> and five now successes. Hey. <laughs> That's five successes. Yeah, you you shoot her once in the chest, and her ah, now you recognise her garment. That's she's wearing a school teacher's outfit. As it explodes <laughs> with gore, her heart punctured in one as the uh, pistol's <laughs> bullet flies straight through her sternum. She slows and staggers. Quickly uh, trying to get a magnet reading. What? <laughs> Scrabble forwards. Read. Sure. I, okay. I, I love you. <laughs> Perception perception technology will add plus one to the difficulty for that diff eight because she's fucking dying. <laughs> <laughs> oh That's technically a botch. <laughs> yeah, you, 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 you're <laughs> you think I She flip- falls that. forwards onto you and your very expensive magnet equipment, covering oh. you in her blood as it pumps out of her chest. Irreparably ruining your clothing, even as you throw her off, her heart continuing to fountain blood out in its last few. Uh, oh wait, yeah, it's a Hammer House of Horror game. Yeah, her heart s- just spouting blood out of the uh, the bullet wound in her chest. Oh dear. And relatedly, next to that, and next to you. Also spouting fountaining <laughs> blood, Sebastian oh, Thornbury yes. oh, my. has oh, dear. a knife, a large carving knife, lodged handle deep in his chest. I think we should go back to the pub. <laughs> yeah. Have a nice wait for yeah. it all blow over. <laughs> it's at this point that the two of you who are still awake notice that he's very conspicuously not said anything <laughs> in the last five to ten seconds, and may at the very least be going into shock. 
<laughs> oh, thank God I took Medicaid. Is he fountaining blood still? Oh, he's absolutely fountaining. Yes. Okay. Large carving knife. <laughs> Handle deep in his chest cavity. I'm currently doing the mental maths on desperately trying to work out where Carl could have got stabbed that would have just fucking one-shot Sebastian Thornbury. Arguably um, in the lung. How, how far from the pub uh, are we at the run? Quite a ways. And, uh, well, yeah. Well, carry him, probably. Well, Can't move. do a car nearby, can I? Do either of you have Medicaid? I don't. You say you do? Nope. No. Nope. <laughs> okay, I have survival. Have I think that's exactly the opposite of what uh, yeah. Carl's going through right now. I don't think survival <laughs> is applicable here. I can use a handkerchief to plug the hole. Uh, the well, there is has currently a knife, knife plugging the hole. Please don't pull it out. I could make it water, no, right? No. Okay, as your two compatriots approach you, the, the first words you're able to squeak out for, Bray. What were you in the army? Were you a captain as well? Um, I don't think I was that. Like, what's the basic NCO? You would have been a no, 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 no. Yeah, you're you a gentleman. Been, you would have yeah, been commissioned. They, they would have insisted. So you you would have been a, what, a lieutenant of some variety. Oh, I assume. Yeah. Okay, so you're a lieutenant. You you see what happens when people pull this stuff out. So as they approach you, clearly looking to help, you're able to squeak out the words. Don't pull it out. <laughs> See, the worst thing is I remember the last time something like this happened, then these two guys, like, exactly the same players, tried to help me in an exactly the same scenario and made it so much worse. I don't remember that. When was that? And yeah, uh, that, to... was, that was Dark Heresy. <laughs> like, <laughs> OG run. Uh, was that when uh, your head well, exploded let's... and you went to team kill everyone who tried to help? Uh, no, no, that was a little later. Um, it was um, around the time that the crime scene got punched down. Uh. Well, after your head exploded. Okay, that, yeah, yeah, that was after the. Uh, anywho, so we'll we'll call pace on that. Then actually, it's my bad for asking. Um, what are we What are we doing, folks? As the patient uh. begs you not to yank the metal, uh, not to yank the knife out, and then run with him full pelt down the street. I, I like to go look I for a, a car. <laughs> I don't think you're going to find a car in 1919, I'm afraid. You might be able to find a carriage, but unfortunately, after seeing the cow, the state of the local horses is likely not great. Is there a wheelbarrow? I say we carry him. <laughs> wheelbarrow? A wheelbarrow, I will say, you can probably find. Oh, a wheelbarrow, too. Out, of, ca out of character, young Nicholas, why don't you roll some of your knowledges to know that as a Batman, I am honor bound to t defend you from all threats. So if you just start firing into the air, I'm going to probably hear it and come running. That's and I'm the one with Medicaid. Also, you're an army officer. You know how to motivate your men. Should I roll? In should I roll something for that, or should I just do it? <laughs> I think it's probably fair to assume that. It would be uh, you know what? What's your what's your background here? I, I will also say I have just fired a shot anyway. That's, That's true, actually. Man. You have just fired a shot. I might not hear your, one. You're currently and it was looking, only a pistol. It was only a pistol. He's only got a pistol. Uh, but Carl's got a shotgun. It's true. You could confirmation kill the old woman real quick. No, you fire it in the air again. Well, you wouldn't fire it in the air, actually. There's one thing Carl doesn't need. It's shotgun pellets raining down on his knife wound. <laughs> Oh, uh, quickly. Fires it, and then uh, he's like, I can use the hot end of the barrel to cauterize the wound. And yeah! That's all it did come to mind. What you can, say, I, uh, can I claim any curious points for my nature? <laughs> you, yep, that, I think that would count. You did, under extreme pressure, still try to keep doing research. You can have um, a point of willpower. Um, so, in finding a wheelbarrow, do I find a bucket as well, anywhere? We will say we there is a stick it on my head in Skyrim, this. <coughs> That's not what you do at Skyrim. Um, we'll say there's a, a garden shed, uh, but in order to know Popa Jack, I will take. I'm going to call it intelligence resources, as we've been using resources as a like byword for class. Oh, okay. Popa Jack's actually got a dot of fame, uh, fame with the army. Yep. They call oh, him the. So, yeah, well, he was the only man in his regiment that survived. The rest were wiped out. Mm, I wonder why. Oh, uh -oh. <laughs> that's a botch. 
Did you uh, just what, shoot what, was without a bucket box? That, so. that, that was a no to shoot for oh. watch. Yep, no, you've got this entirely in hand. <laughs> you know everything's fine. That'd be fine. Any good any good Batman will have heard the first shot and come running, obviously. Meanwhile, tiny pistol shot. Not really audible. No. Nope. Any any soil or uh, or sand in the bucket, I find. Sure, you find a garden shed with a wheelbarrow and several buckets. What are you after here? <laughs> uh, once he's in there, I'd like to cover him in something so that he's not spewing blood everywhere. Are you going to pour <laughs> dirt on his wound? <laughs> it's probably fine. I'll seal it. It'll clean up. Um, like, am I <laughs> capable of seeing this? I, like, yes. look you in the eyes with some pity. Like, I don't know if this is right, but it doesn't feel right. <laughs> Yeah, like <laughs> if I see him approaching me with, with a that bucket full of mud, he's just <laughs> quickly yeah. spaded out of the ground and a really, really unsanitary looking wheelbarrow and your eyes roll back to what looked like not cobbled, but not particularly well paved streets behind you that are gonna be. No, I, I need to do something dumb for the box. <laughs> I've you, been distracted trying to think. You know what? That's fair, Popa Jack. That's fair. What's your what's your willpower? Uh, what's your willpower? What's your, what's your nature, Popa Jack? Uh, my nature is perfectionist. So when someone else achieves something, apparently when uh, offers something, I suggest. I see. I okay. get willpower, apparently. Ah, fair. So if you were able to persuade people to go through with your plan for saving Carl. And then Sebastian Thornbury doesn't die. You would get a willpower back for taking credit for it, presumably. Exactly. So, I'm why did you choose a And I had a lot of people asking why I tried to hit the old guy in the face and why I was smacking his bush. <laughs> all, those are all out of character, Ollie. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm going to threaten to stab him with this knife in my chest if he <laughs> dares to try and like besmirch me with such. I think you also actually do still have your shotgun, technically. Oh, well, if it's still in my possession, then it is, like, <laughs> firmly leveled. And by firmly, I mean incredibly shakily. Well, uh, can we get to the pub, then? Uh. <laughs> Very well. <laughs> you stand there in tense silence, <laughs> the three of you. <laughs> like, I'm gonna, like, just get in the wheelbarrow. It's going to climb into the wheelbarrow. Okay, uh, I guess we'll call Are you that. sure you don't want this mud? It'll stop it spraying everywhere. <laughs> Certain. <laughs> Your loss? I just kind of... Let's <laughs> just put it down. I kind of thought you were going to douse him anyway. Um, <laughs> Come uh, on, then. I, I lead the way. <laughs> yeah, you, you gingerly climb into the wheelbarrow. <laughs> doing your best. I don't even know how you'd fucking crab walk your way in the fucking Dex <laughs> Athletics difficulty 6, Carl. I mean, like... I told him. Uh, you know what, okay, with great difficulty, we won't charge you a roll, because if nothing else, you're fucking... What are you at? You're at... Are you only at um, minus two or to your pool? Yeah. Um, I was going to say, character may hobble three yards or meters per turn. I think that should okay, like, yeah, no, that's, clarify. That's actually pretty fair. Yeah, okay. So with with you're not fast to get in the wheelbarrow, but you're able to get in the wheelbarrow. <laughs> Knife still inside you. Gingerly sat down. <laughs> do I do a lot of stuff gingerly? Because I'm fucking ginger. I mean, only you can answer that question, you ginger scumbag. I mean, technically, I wouldn't really count myself as ginger ginger, but... I, what? You've literally got the most ginger hair of anyone I've ever known. I live I in mean, Scandinavia, like, land of the gingers. Redhead, yes, but, like, That's it's not sick. orange. It's a deep burnt orange. <laughs> Yeah, that's, I mean, that's red. It's closer to a burgundy. Mahogany. Anyway, it's definitely it's not bur burgundy stuff. Ah, right, okay. Let's pace on the hair colour discussion. Um, <clears throat> the wheelbarrow. Who's driving the wheelbarrow? Just for my edification. I, I, I indicated won. for uh, Tango to do it. <laughs> oh, well, my clothes are really bloody anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Audible yeah. sigh of relief from Thornbury, presumably, or gurgle of relief as. Uh, not Popa Jack drives the wheelbarrow carefully down the street back towards the pub. Meanwhile, 
in a house recently claimed for the South Yorkshire People's Revolutionary Front. Glitters. Mr. Holman Twight. Ollie. Hmm? Say him. Do I have been busy looking up forms of communism? <laughs> oh, that's that's fair. Uh, and on that subject, in the... In the ah, fuck, I lost it. What, what did I say, folks? South Yorkshire People's Republic. Ah, there we go. It's the, the South Yorkshire People's Revolutionary Front. Or People's Republic. Well, it's not a republic yet, is it? It's still a revolutionary front. I guess it's the republic of this house you've commandeered. <laughs> what, are we, yeah. what are we up to here, uh, Holman? Uh, I'll roll to make a cup of tea, I suppose. Or you make a cup of yeah, tea. I think you just make a cup of tea, put the kettle Come on. on. You're going to need to like get the stove lit. But uh, there's firewood under there. The whole place looks relatively well stocked. Cool. I'm just going to make a cup of tea then. As it's boiling, I'm just going to, you know, maybe splash some water on it or something. If he has any. How long does a severe concussion last? Like, it can last like years, I think. The really, really, really bad ones. Yeah. You did hit him pretty hard. Uh, in general, symptoms of a concussion should resolve in two weeks. Why do I feel like we've had this before? <laughs> oh, I know what it was. Sorry, no, it was Benji lamping a true mage by surprise. And like, uh, yeah, I killed a true mage with a stick. <laughs> yeah, because you gave him a severe concussion and he eventually died of brain damage before he could heal himself. And you were then condemned to spend the rest of your life permanently changed into a kitten by a reflexive you know spell. You know what? Sounds like I won. I didn't win well. Did. It might have been the tiniest iota of victory, but I still won. They do say you kill true mages by sucker punching them, and you did sucker punch them. <laughs> he came in all cocky and got murdered by an angry badger owning peasant with a stick. Uh, <laughs> lived in a fucking goddamn. Uh, do you have in a hole in the ground? Do you have a? To be fair, quite a stately one. Do you have a a, a dot of Medicaid there at all, Ollie? I do. I do. Yeah. Okay. In that case, we'll say that you're you're well aware that he he he's not getting unconcussed anytime soon. More than likely, he might snap out of it like any second, but he also might be like this for some days to weeks. Yeah, that's fine. I'm going to yeah sit down in front of him. I'm just going to see what happens if I just you know put a little bit of cold water in to see if I can like you know shock something <laughs> of normality back into him. I don't think it's going to work, but I'll give it a go. There are some physiological responses, but the more you look at him, the more you can see he was already in a very bad state. Um, and that was even before he cut his own toes off. Um, is there a wheelbarrow in the garden shed? Oh, fucking damn. <laughs> it's just been stolen, though. <laughs> sure, this is a separate house with a separate garden shed. There is absolutely mm. a wheelbarrow. Mm. Do I bring him back to the pub? <laughs> Why? Just I mean, there's up probably the other wheelbarrows. people around. I mean, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Keep him under observation to see if he uh what he says. Oh no! You know what? No, I think I won't. I'm going to ask a couple of questions, and if I get nothing but sort of garbled responses, um, what I want to do actually, yeah, I'm gonna again look him like dead in the eyes, and this time I'm going to try to talk to whatever seems to it seems to have taken him over i'm assuming it's not metagaming to have the idea that there does seem to be some sort of malaise that effect has affected the entire town and is causing them to act strange and i would know potentially about possession because i have four dots in the cult uh yes, a cult doesn't entitle you to know about like specific mechanics of possession, but um for what it's worth, even if you were metagaming, there's comparatively few forms of possession that would manifest this way in WOD. Uh and the ones that would would scare the shit out of you, but you absolutely do not have the context for that. Um Oh, I so I'm gonna try and talk to whatever I suspect is possessing him. Okay. And uh, I want to taunt it because I'm full of good ideas like that. What do you think is possessing him? What is your current theory? I don't. I, I'm. Well, so, okay. So sorry. Then it sounds like you don't have a theory, but you want to talk to. You think there is something possessing him? You just don't know what. You want to talk to that? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like it seems to be the same thing affecting the same guy we found in White Mountain, and the other townsfolk seem to have a similar sort of malaise about them. Uh, he so, was just out on the moors. He hadn't reached White Mountain. 
Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, thing. Um, yeah, so I would like to try and talk directly to whatever I suspect me may. Well, well I want to talk directly to the possessy, I suppose. Possessor? I don't know. Yeah, the possessor, I suppose. The, 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 the spirit or ghost or whatever, the supernatural thing. <laughs> cool, and I would like to. Uh, well, I'm going to ask it to come forward. No, I demand it come forward. I wish to talk to it. Okay, uh, trying to think what to ask you to roll here. <laughs> Intimidation over manipulation or charisma or intelligence? Uh, I'll, I'll take, uh, it's, <laughs> you're definitely not getting intelligence. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll take, uh, intimidation over, intimidation over manipulation, diff, I guess diff 10. Diff, damn, okay. Well, you're, you're clutching a, one hell of a straw here, but I'll give you a fighting chance. Uh, right, so I only have one dot of manipulation, uh, but I have two dots of intimidation. I guess, like, there's not much of a way that you could really badly botch it anyway, because, I mean, what's he going to do? Get more heavily concussed? Or <laughs> yeah. further tied to a chair? Doesn't it? I, I, I don't... I fail, unfortunately. Ah, yeah. Simple failure. <laughs> yeah, you spend some time talking to him. You've got a while waiting for the, the you know, wood fire to catch and then that to heat the water and then the tea has to steep and then you have to remove the loose and then it's a whole production, basically. Um... <laughs> Yeah, that's fine. I drink my tea. I, I see if I can feed him some water, maybe. Then I'm going to blow out the fire, you know, if I can, on the stove. And I'll just take him up. Um, yeah, I'll just untie him, I think, actually. And yeah, you, you're pretty sure he's way too heavily concussed to do much to you. He might try, but it would be childishly easy to avoid. Yeah, I'll just put him to bed, I suppose. I assume this is bed, otherwise, someone's getting a big surprise. And then I uh, go downstairs and I leave. I think you're already I in the kitchen the whole time. Uh, yeah, you can, I think you're already in the kitchen the whole time. You can find like a bedroom somewhere to leave it in. I might also try and change out the uh, the thing around his foot for a slightly cleaner thing, so a cleaner rag or, or <laughs> bed sheet or something, maybe. Sure, uh, we we won't make you roll for that. I think it's in the the spirit of good Samaritanness. And I and will make my... Good Samaritan can be applied to anything that's got on this session. <laughs> well, and I'm going to go back to the pub. Yeah, you, you arrive back after a leisurely stroll, just about in time to see what looks like a wheelbarrow coming down the street. Oh, funny, you wonder if they had the same idea you had of bringing back someone to inter... Is that... Oh, come on! Sebastian Thornbury in there? <laughs> What's sticking out of his... Oh my god, that's a knife in his chest. Meanwhile... Holborn is torn between... Uh, Reginald! You know, Reginald! <laughs> I shout into the pub doors, Reginald, you're, you're required. Reginald, you're washing your hands after a most distasteful task. <clears throat> when your butler's senses tingle. Medic! Second later, you hear your name. Reginald! Reginald! And then after that, uh, Holborn's voice coming through the door. Reginald, you're needed! What do? I must go. The gentlemen need me. <laughs> you rush out, knowing that something's gone terribly wrong. <laughs> and as... uh, uh, Who's sorry? Holborn's mind just thinks, he's such a gen gentle slut. That's what he is. So he's, 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 a, he's a member of the gen... He's, uh, terrible, what he is. I think I prefer <laughs> the term class traitor to... <laughs> <laughs> gentle slots and gentle slots. <laughs> Dear. Uh, yeah. so I look. I, I, I look exist. around. Damn, I was muted. You you were muted. Ah. Right, I'm gonna uh, rush out the door to see what it is requires me. So the second you get out, your blood runs cold. You can see a wheelbarrow, and in that wheelbarrow <laughs> is uh, looking most undecorous. Sebastian Thornbury. Lieutenant Sebastian Thornbury. The highest standing with the Order of the Hat. The most gentlemanly gentleman, by at least some measures, on the mission. Covered in dirt, his clothes in disarray, and with what appears to be a very large 
cleaver, cleaver, cooking knife, carving knife, sticking out of his chest cavity. Good Lord, what happened here? Some mad old lady who's screaming about Caesar in Latin. Uh, I, I see. Hurriedly, uh, openly, uh, openly. How long ago did this happen? I'm out of wheelbarrow's journey from by the market. Uh, I... I would just like to gargle and weakly reach out, grasping at air. <laughs> I think he requires your attention, sir. Yes. <laughs> I would say again, you don't call me sir. Sir. Oh, of course. Oh, and I will need my clothes cleaned as well. <laughs> Uh, if you'll forgive me, pump. sir, I, I shall I shall attend to Sir Thornbury first. Oh, of course, of course, of course. Eyes rolling into back of head. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to I'd like to try and save Sebastian Thornbury. Yes, I'm just speedily looking up the mortal health rules. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say like it, it depends on the like levels of damage we're talking here because I don't know about bleeding out or anything. But We're uh, I... quietly avoiding the bleeding out. You took your five. What do you think? Yeah, no, we haven't pulled the knife out, which is really helping on that whole yeah. front. Because <laughs> there was a plan to like pull the knife out, cover you in dirt to seal the wound, and then run you at full pace back. I was thinking, leave the knife in and cover him. With oh, well, only because it was mentioned. It would have been beautiful seeing Benji's character collapse of an aneurysm the second you got back. Uh, right. I'm out. Um, I, 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 I'm just saying, uh, best of luck, old, uh, old chap. And I'll go inside and grab a whiskey, uh, like a full bottle, and bring it back out for... Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, Carl, Carl, which character again? Is that Sebastian Hobbit? Thornbury. Sebastian Thornbury. Mr. Thornbury. Uh, and, I'll, <laughs> and I'll just go hand him a glass of whiskey. I'll just be in the pub getting changed. Yes. <laughs> Untreated Avoiding lethal wounds any blood cutters. Worsened by one level of lethal damage per day. <laughs> well, thankfully, we should be treating them pretty sharpish. <laughs> yes. Fingers crossed. Yes, sorry, I'm still reading. <laughs> That doesn't like inspire confidence. Okay, what are you at? Are you at maimed? Um, mauled. Mauled, mauled maimed. I don't know if like I guess it's probably the same thing, right? Yeah, we'll right. just blindly assume that's basically the same. But the second level of minus two. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So that is mauled. Um, does it be to higher? Oh dear. Don't say that. Uh, Please don't say it like that. <laughs> well, I was reading over the recovery times. It's a long time. It's, it's like months. Two months. Yeah. Uh, so I give you a permanent minus two now. <laughs> For the rest of the mini campaign. I knew I should have brought a healer. <laughs> you got me. Okay, so I will take an, a, we'll call it Dex Medicine uh, diff, diff 7, please, to stabilize him. I'm going to spend a willpower point. Entirely merited. Thank God I did. <laughs> Net one success, only thanks to the willpower point. <laughs> As, uh, uh, is it? Right? You said Diff 7, yeah, uh, 2. Did I? Oh yeah, sorry, 2, yeah. it is 2. Yeah, no, I'm completely wrong. Two successes. Uh, yes. <clears throat> As it's it's uh, a miracle that this is. In fact, can you survive with a collapsed lung? You can. Yeah, not for long. But... Not for long. Okay, so it's a, it's a miracle that this didn't collapse a lung. You're definitely going to need to get uh, Sebastian Thornbury some actual professional medical treatment um, in a hospital somewhere where he can be operated on surgically somewhere with actual medicine to offer him as opposed to some basic first aid and stabilisation well, there's loads of places like that man. <laughs> I guess I'll turn a new character <laughs> might be a good idea to have back <laughs> a backup um don't get me wrong, I expected at some point to like get a few wings and dings, but not to be like effectively just taken out in one hit by an old lady that shouldn't even have the strength to run. 
she didn't really have the strength to do much. She got a really good roll. Uh, and then Wad Combat kind of did the rest, plus the flump yeah. roll to... Wad Combat is very, very swingy. Yeah. Uh, and mortals are extremely squishy boys. So it's a, I believe it's, it's a minus tool pool mod, but otherwise we'll treat you as basically fine unless you do absolutely horrendous things. Okay. Let's have a look at your character and see if we haven't completely murked you. I mean, not completely. Okay, you know what? We'll call it minus tool pool mod on, on um, physical things, right? Because I think you should be able to pull through with social and mental. So if we say physical attributes and abilities that are like strenuous physical activities, okay? So hit firearms would count, but like firearms with plenty of time to set up your shop probably wouldn't. Does that feel fair? Yeah. Cool. And obviously these rules would apply to everyone else under similar circumstances. We're going to need to build him a wheelchair. <laughs> Ollie? Well, yes, what I can do. <laughs> I can build him a wheelchair. <laughs> over, the, have... over the course of performing surgery on Sebastian, as well as providing Sebastian with decent whiskey from the bar, which thankfully they did have, you're, uh, you're able to swap your notes on your experiences in Tutley Without Wald. The dead birds, the strange villagers, the acting strangely, presumably some tastefully edited uh, highlights around the lone gardener. Yes. I haven't shared my experiences of rescuing the poor man. <laughs> I mean, you've perhaps glossed over them. <laughs> that poor, poor that you man. Think you can stabilise him, or think you have stabilised him. Like, can I just pass out? <laughs> yeah, eventually the pain gets too much for you, and the whiskey takes you off to blessed unconsciousness. At twelve o'clock midday, a little clock tower somewhere in the town goes off, alerting you that the sun is at its highest point and will soon begin to descend. Does anyone have anything else they want done before the very end of the session? Start. Making like plans for a wheelchair. I I, I don't know if that's going to work on the moors for the records. It's fine. We just leave him there, parked at the start of them, <laughs> as we I'm go off on merry adventures. I'm happy to just stay at the pub for the rest of it. You can regale me with the tales of your adventures as I slowly drink away, knowing that the Order of the Hat is going to use this to get back at me and my family line. I think wheelbarrow works, right? I mean, I can't. I, I imagine I probably could rig some. If I could rig a tank to work on terrible ground, I can maybe rig up some sort of way to make a, a wheelchair work on. Cherry rig a very uh, some sort of make terrible wheelchair. Wheelchair. Wheelchairs yeah. are actually moderately advanced by this point. Looks like um, you, you're probably pretty capable of rigging up a wheelchair of decent quality. Oh, it's a shame all the animals. Big ones they used to use on. Um, they used to use on beaches. That's Sorry, my, I think the slide. What were you saying? There, there, there were beach going. No, I was asking Carl what he was saying. I, I heard what you said. It's a shame all the animals are dying. Could have got on a horse or something. It's true. Um, you were talking about like giant well, beach wheelchairs, fair, right, Ollie? We might be able to find yeah. a horse because horses presumably would have been left out in the fields and would be able to eat the grass, as you know, horses do. Yes, but if the birds and the insects are dead. Uh, and even the cows were true. Actually, yeah. uh, I feel we've only seen the one cow tied up in the market. That is true. Um, Holman Twight, in that case, as as the day begins to wind on, uh, I will take. I guess technology is the role for you, right? Oh, this is craft. Crafts. Yeah, craft mechanic. Yeah, craft. It's like, can strength. I? It's craft. <laughs> How would you like to assist, you Nicholas? Well, I, I have craft and I have leadership. So okay, I'm but what, managing what things. is your craft? Oh, I in? am not because I, craft I is not. craft is always specific. Remember, so Ollie's craft is at five, but his craft is also specifically mechanics. He can't just do like baking yeah. because that's also a craft. What is your craft in? 
It'll be... I haven't put it, uh, but it will be in the engraving. That's uh, fair, considering it's Popa Jack. Um, yeah. Uh, I was going to say, considering Popa Jack, yeah, like, could... does it matter? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I've got... Uh, uh, I have got a little leadership, uh, uh, so I'd like to put a help organize and keep him on, on task. Yeah. Ollie's, huh? Ollie's character, but I don't think Holman Twite is going to be open to you organizing or even really coming into his workshop. I'm oh, going yeah. to be doing it anyway. No, that's just not happening. I'm going to go back up to my bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> micromanage fucking Sebastian out of his impromptu wheelchair. Yeah. No, I, I, I'll just make it. Yeah. I, I, if I, I will do it from afar. I'm not going to be all up in your grill and whatnot, but I'd like to try to help from afar. Every, okay, well, you can. Okay, you know what? You can be there and you can think you're helping, but it's yeah. much like when your brother gives you the controller when you're five. Sure, you're I, playing the game. <laughs> but I will maybe ask for some help with some engraving, some specific iconography later, actually, to be fair. Um. Yeah, I guess I'll go to the workshop and I'll start a... Well, we've start. clearly established that this town has, if anything, a surplus of wheelbarrows. Uh, so raw materials are not lacking. I will take strength, craft, stiff, diff six, please, Ollie. Cool. Nine and ten. No, yeah, nine and ten. And I get a ten, so double success. Well. Uh, what was the diff again? I don't know. If, uh, it was I diff. Said diff I said diff six. I don't know if tens yeah. double for crafts because your craft is always specific, right? One, two, three, Maybe four, they do. Five. Yeah, no, I'm being silly. Why? Why wouldn't they? Fuck it. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I make that out to be. Yep. So, Which but is- this this <laughs> this is a. Monster of a Franken wheelchair built out of harvested wheelbarrows, bits and pieces from around the bar. The most comfortable chair you could find. Four oh, wheels. No, so- I'm not using the most comfortable chair. Oh, sorry. Okay, you know, you you describe it to me, Ollie. What goes into this? It's a Franken wheelbarrow, which has you know the required parts, and it has you know some rather like. Nasty looking, you know, pillow fluff and, you know, some more torn leather covering see. it. You see, uh, mate, up until this point, like, I was going to rethink my stance, you know, let the rage simmer out into nothing, just rethink my ways having come so close to death. But I mean, that's out the window now. To be fair, actually, I suppose it was your butler who tried to fuck me over and not you specifically. That's a good point, actually. So yeah, I'll use a nice. The butler after you. Oh, that's a good point. Wait, did you? I thought the butler did it with his own. No, I did accord. it. Of, I did it of my own accord. Yeah, like there were a few eyebrow twitches in there. But... Okay, so quickly you abandon your morals. I mean, uh, that's that's fine. Class traits. Um, but but you didn't. But, but I do have one last part to add, which which is what I want the help with the iconography carving is. You know, just sort of you know. Hammering sickles just everywhere, all over it. I mean, phrases about how it was made for the people, you know, things like that, really. I refuse. Just what I expected of one member of your class. Instead, I'd like to, uh, do, do I know which, uh, regiment he served with? Oh, no, you can't touch it if, uh, if, if you're not helping, then you're not allowed to touch it. Uh, it's his wheelchair. Oh sure, but you're 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 not touching it until I got, let my hands go of it at that point. Like, and then you engrave any well, old You you could ask me to do it. It's like oh, okay, yes, I, I I could do that, and then I'm going just going to engrave <laughs> his uh, regiment's uh, his symbol on it instead. And so, an amount of dick measuring delays the final construction of the wheelchair <laughs> until later in the afternoon. Sebastian Thornbury wakes up from his unconsciousness, a blessedly dreamless state. (laughs) Maybe around three, four o'clock, by which point the wheelchair, with, I guess, four wheelbarrow wheels for off-roading stability, is more or less ready, slightly scuffed from where there's been no small amount of fighting over it. (laughs) 
one day I'm going to slap one of the officers and it's going to be great. Well, maybe not the one in the wheelchair. Maybe lose that hand. No, not right now, anyway. No. <laughs> You're just waiting to slap the wheelchair officer. <laughs> Aren't we all to some degree? No. <laughs> Can I get, like, one of those blankets to put across my lap? And, like, some slippers. <laughs> you want a fucking, um, an FDR polio blanket? <laughs> yeah, exactly what I'm Sure, thinking. you know what, you got stabbed this session. They're able to source you an FDR blanket. Yes. <laughs> Add one wheelchair to, uh, one off-roading impromptu wheelchair to your inventory, please, Carl. Thank you kindly, all involved. I uh, what? Holburn is, is is happy to demonstrate his use of skills, <laughs> show that collaborative work can lead to a result greater than the sum of its parts. Even though you're not with her, I've got to ask though: like, is getting practically crippled on the third session like a new record for our group? No, we had someone no. die. Yeah, yeah, no. Cre- Ollie's, yeah. <laughs> uh, also, Ollie's first session, second session, he he got one shot. Yeah, in the first, the second first, ever session, Dark yeah, Heresy, sure. it was the opening round of the fight, and uh, the oh, yeah. he got sucker shot in the chest, and it crit him, and we weren't reading the rules super properly, and his chest would have just exploded. Uh, and oh, was that like OG Dark Heresy? That was OG. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, okay. <laughs> and we, I think we wound up just saying as a like, oh, that sucks a bit. Uh, we weren't really in the spirit of things. Um, so we just like removed his armor and completely slagged it, uh, but he got to keep his character. <laughs> I, 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 think, I think Jovis I got, got horribly crippled in his first encounter as well. Yeah, but that was his first session. I, I think I it was, wasn't it? With that particular session, I ended up getting uh, shanked so hard by three spears at the same time, we calculated I flew back 40 foot with my intestines. <laughs> oh, yeah. I remember and that. Me. That was when I had no grasp of how big a fucking room was, so you were always just fighting in these, like, giant open warehouses. Oh, fucking big... hell. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's definitely up there for uh, shankings. So, I think that's probably a good spot to leave it for the week. It's supposed to be a lull in action this week. <laughs> God damn it. I was trying to be a gentleman, but not just like going out and attacking the old you lady. Know, you know what? Credit where it's <laughs> due. You weren't trying to be a gentleman, Carl. You were a gentleman. Uh-huh. Unfortunately, she wasn't. <laughs> no. No. Uh, so, reminders for next session. Does anyone have anything they want noted down? I'm in a wheelchair. <laughs> what was that, Nicholas? Teachers are dangerous. Teachers are dangerous, but it's one local schoolhouse. How many more teachers can there possibly be? The real thing is to watch out for the kids she was presumably giving fencing lessons to. Oh, Lord, that's a good shout. Yes, careful of manic children with knives. It's fine. We now know that everyone in this town is probably hostile and to kill them on sight. Yes, exactly. Uh, what? <laughs> you went into a house with a shotgun? I didn't. A gentleman did, and she she attacked a gentleman. She Therefore, should <laughs> she should have made us a cup of tea, not stab us. <laughs> out at the end of the day, she actually was completely of her own senses all the time, just a bit hungover and was having a, les- a history lesson on Caesar. And you just came in, interrupted her lesson planning, shot her, and left. Yeah, the town was just like cripplingly inbred, and everyone's just a bit awkward and slightly hungover from a party recently. And, and you're just going around butchering them like, ah, they're clearly not in their right minds. Bang! Look, see? That one's bleeding everywhere. So rude. Uh, any other reminders? To start culling the weak ones of the herd. Reminders, sorry. Cull the weak ones of the herd. Sorry? It's not all the weak ones. No, oh, oh, oh Christ, I had, I had to remind her. Um, not what you're here for, for the record. Uh, any other reminders? They started uh, talking about Caesar. Should be in the Roman legions. No, I don't know that. Magnets. Is that just magnets by itself? 
<laughs> yeah, that'll do. Like, just put magnets. The, 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 the aliens meme, just magnets. <laughs> <laughs> magnets. Okay, any, anything else? Any other um, I've magnets? I've got it in my notes, but okay. it would be nice to have a vocal reminder of minus two applies to physical roles. We have kept the publican alive. Who's watching Aussies? I mean, I don't uh, fair, fair, fair. Uh, anything else? <laughs> nope. You don't get any. Not got any significant magnet facts there, Creed. Uh, again. Oh, I haven't noted. Uh, um, we saved the publican. Fair. No, sorry. I, I heard your thing, Benji. I haven't noted it. Um, I could identify the source with my magnet thing potentially. Okay. Uh, and we are also magnet food. At least I am. Uh, anything else? <laughs> nope. Cool. Uh, in that case, feedback. Anything you liked, anything you disliked, anything you might see more of, less of next time. Dislike getting shanked in the chest. I'm so <laughs> sorry, that was such an unlucky combination of roles. I mean, yeah, I failed horribly and you succeeded very well, so. I, it's yeah. alright. Creed on the team though, who do that sort of stuff all the time and end up surviving. So you just really have survivorship bias, I think. Like, yeah, I'm with Creed, and he's fine most of the time. Clearly, you'll be fine as well. I, I think what you'll find is it, it's what happens when you spend all your luck two sessions in a row. I didn't try for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, I, I will say on my side. One credit where it's due for playing the gentleman and not immediately resulting, uh, resorting to like violence against the the elderly person coming at you, uh, and and two, uh, being with a pretty heavy malice there, being being a fairly good sport about it because one combat for mortals is fucking brutal. Yeah, like that. I mean, I, I'm accustomed to playing it as a super control, but I didn't think like it's when it's like, oh yeah, no stamina for so I'm like. Oh shit! Now it's hit the fan. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's not, not your die. I guess the the inverse is it's nineteen nineteen. So if you can find sufficient quantities of morphine, heroin, or cocaine, you can tropium. You can probably fight through the pain. Uh, that was how it goes, though. You should be able to find some, right? All the opium. When was heroin invented? Yeah, in a small town in New York. Uh, like, it's like the 70s, isn't it? Right, I'm going to When it shop, comes to Britain, so. at least. No, okay. because it was available on the NHS in the 60s. Uh, cocaine is that just, around, sure. Or is that just when it became... It was first made in 1874 from morphine. Yeah, there you go. So, so heroin, morphine... Like, basically, you need a local pharmacy or a chemist's shop. <laughs> yeah, but when, was it, when did it first come here, is the question. But they'd have morphine, though, right? They'd have morphine. They've probably got some. They've probably got cocaine. They've definitely got cocaine. Basically, yeah. basically, you can find painkillers, and we'll yeah. we'll uh, we'll let things slide a little bit on the painkiller front. I think just because you know mortals. Um... For a little while, shock will do a good. Oh my god! Job at sorting that out. Lit- Actually, we don't even need. You don't even need a pharmacy. It's an over-the-counter drug. Yeah. Yeah. Holy shit! Shop. It's 1919. It's yeah. a, it's a cough suppressant. Nancy Reagan's fucking dad is no more than a glint in the milkman's eye at this point. <laughs> no one gives a shit about you injecting cocaine into your eyeballs in this era. <laughs> oh, right. Okay, so Nancy Take Reagan aside, be fine. <laughs> Nancy Reagan aside, uh, any other feedback? Uh, I like the copious amounts of wheelbarrows. Yeah, I don't really know where all the wheelbarrows came from. Uh, you know, we had one, and then before I knew it, I like blinked, and there were three involved. Um, it's just a just the thing we're gonna have to deal with, I guess. Technically, four the wheelchair. It's has true, three actually. Wheels. The wheelchair so there's at least four, and, th- Poss- and that's only if you're including the wheelbarrows that we used. It's exactly. possible there are actually six. Yeah. So there's, there's one thing we know is that Tutley without Wald is extremely big on its fucking gardening. Allotments the size of houses. 
I suppose that's Apparently the Alright, so you're good. Um, Krusty Jonas. Any other, God damn it, any other, it's not the right county, any other feedback. <laughs> right big bushy beard. It'd be like, Krusty Jonas. <laughs> I can't do the accent to save my life. Which is why they're all West Country. <laughs> cool. Questions. Anything anyone was narratively unsure of in that session? Is everyone following the um, plot? Where all the wheelbarrows came from? Where all the wheelbarrows came from? Gardens. Gardens. Gar- garage. I actually don't know where one buys an early 20th century wheelbarrow. I don't know if they're handmade. I don't know if there's uh, just a, a local township that sells them. Perhaps. Uh, made when here. The, what is the history of the garden centre? Sorry, Creed? They're made here. This is the town that makes wheelbarrow. This is the wheelbarrow town. All of them. All of them the are made here. Export. They make wheelbarrows. I imagine there would be like a, lo- a local meta. Start. Do you have the rise in like production of like high volume? So maybe you just have a factory churn in that somewhere in London. Oh, actually, garden centers. Fuck. Uh, yeah, no garden centers. Garden centers exist. Uh, sure, there is a garden center in Tutley without Wald. That garden center. I mean, <laughs> makes <laughs> and sells wheelbarrows. <laughs> I was going to say, at the very least, they're going to have like someone in the farming community. See, is they're like a pretty, uh, uh, I say, uh, what's the word? Required that's gardening like tool. That's, that's like true. that's their like garden pickup. Just the local farmers. Well, you assume they'd be on like oxen and stuff. Well, I suppose that your farmer still needs a wheelbarrow. Yeah, exactly. So there's 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 going to be like bleak Yorkshire moor farmhouses. Well, quintessential. That's the word I was looking for. Quintessential. There we go. So God, like you have no idea how difficult it was, like chiming in in the middle of Tesco's. <laughs> Why are you in the middle of Tesco's? Because uh, I needed to get some bits and pieces before the shop closed because I didn't have a chance to go after work. Fair, okay, I didn't notice that at all. Well done. <laughs> yeah, <shame. laughs> yeah, cool. Any other narrative questions that are, I, I guess, wheelbarrow aside, as one of the characters is flitting through a, like ten fun facts about our town. Number one, did you know a Tutley without Wall Garden Centre is the pride of the village? <laughs> um, Two. Uh, it's, uh, I was just going to say, it's uh, an awkward thing, because it's like, I kind of want to ask a question, but it's pure out of character and wouldn't really be able to transfer across the character knowledge. Uh, I mean, that's, that's fair. You can, you can ask him, like, worst case scenario, say, oh, I can't answer that now. Um, well, I mean, it's like the state of the villagers. Everyone seems to be able to get a burst of ability, but it doesn't seem like they can have sustained ability because we haven't had uh, extended interactions. Like, could we effectively like run them down, sort of do, as in like uh, tire them out easily? Uh, I mean, if they maintain the pattern, you've seen probably. <laughs> Don't know okay. why you would, <laughs> but you could, I guess, if you wanted well, to mean- make cleansing Tutley without Wald for its sins. <laughs> One of your major things. I was thinking more like if shit hits the fan again just like casually jog away for a little while until they knack her out. Yeah, pull the old um, god what do you call it? What's that zombie game that's third person isometric? Oh, Project Zomboid. Project Zomboid, thank you, yeah. Pull the old Project Zomboid on them. I guess, mm-hmm. I guess it's pretty valid. Um... Uh, our objective here, what is it again? Is it to find out what's happening and stop it? Or is it to save everyone? Uh, what the, um, out of character, you don't know it, but um, my <laughs> objective, which is separate from the group objective, is to find a way for whatever's going on to benefit the Order of the Hat and bring it back. Uh, I believe it was, yeah, discover what's happening and uh, dis- I didn't actually didn't write it down, I need to listen back to the first session, but it's discover, what, I believe it was discover what was happening and if possible make sure that it benefits the Order of the Hat um, and then Carl's side objective is that he's supposed to make sure it's neutrally, uh, that it does benefit the, uh, the Order of the Hat but also that it only neutrally benefits the Order of the Hat. It shouldn't benefit any one of you massively as well as the Hat. E.g., like none of you should get huge amounts of credit for it, otherwise his handler will be mad at him. Yeah. Cool. I just want to clarify, we didn't have to save people. It is not technically on the to-do list. 
you might have to answer if they go, why did you kill everyone in this local town? If nothing else, that will make the papers. I mean, this will make the papers anyway, but it's a question of, like, how will it make the papers? You don't do papers. <laughs> Any other questions? Cool. In that case, let's do some XP. Uh, trying something new again, I see. <coughs> well, you know what? Variety is the spice of life. Plot progression. Does anyone feel like maybe civilian plot progression this session? Yes. We saved the publican. Ish. Is that plot progression? It's going to lead us to to answers about what's going on to the people. Well, he might have wished to you as well once he wakes up. Yeah. I say as an extension. Sorry, I can't oh, make you oh, all no, no, no. You're, you're like really echoey and, and crackly. I think it's not intentionally put us on. No, he is speaking. It's just, he said we found that it's not an isolated case and something, something, something. And spread over the whole town, something. It's with the popping. It sounds like he's doing Morse code. Slightly fair. Uh, cool. Okay. Well, that that counts for one. Um, we've uh, we've figured out that it's some sort of. Um... Sorry, Carl. You couldn't mute yourself, could you? It's it's really it's really bad on our end. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, sorry. Uh, say a little. Uh, that we've we've figured out it's some sort of. Um... Uh, mind manipulation slash control compulsion thing. Uh, you're pretty sure you don't actually know know that, but fair enough. <laughs> we found out they have lots of wheelbarrows here. That's not plot progression, but okay. Um... The Roman influence? <laughs> I think technically you knew that last session, didn't you? Oh, I suppose you had it confirmed this session, that's fair. Cool. Character development. Does anyone feel like develop your character uh, your character this session? And if so, how? I've developed a like weakness for walking. <laughs> Sir, I appear to have developed a hole in the stomach. Imagine making it through all of World War One without a scratch and then getting stabbed in the chest the next year. <laughs> By an elderly school teacher. Oh my god. Fought in Flanders Fields and then maimed by Mrs. Miggins, teacher of year two. <laughs> what the Bosch couldn't do, Miggins could. Cox shotgun. Um, it's absolutely a thing they do in rural Yorkshire in 1919. Uh, yes, major life things for Sebastian. Um, I made a wheelchair for a member of the nobility, not because I hate them, because it's the right thing to do, right? That's fair. You're saying you're softening to our cause. Yeah, apart from the fact you put oh. communist symbols all over the damn thing. Uh, he, yeah, he wanted tried to. to. He wanted uh. to, but though... though uh, oh, I suppose he's communist and even God. Uh, okay. Though great atheismo blessed him with fine hands for mechanism, he can't draw to save his fucking life and was unable to sketch on the uh, side of the wheelchair sufficiently. Uh, any other character development? Oh, fair, fair. Uh, extensive roleplay. Does anyone feel like you develop your character? Uh, feel like anyone else develop their character? God fucking hell. God damn it. Extensive roleplay. Does anyone feel like anyone else roleplay particularly well this session? I think Paul did, with the, uh, the knife, the stabbing, being a yeah, good sport. Yeah, he, he did, uh, did pretty well. Creed also Creed stayed in dead. character that entire time. Mm -hmm. I do. Crazy woman with knife screaming in Latin. <laughs> Allow me to retort in your native tongue. <laughs> I do. I do like that Tango is slowly mantling the little like dotty professor character from the Tarzan movie. He is somewhere. Yeah. Um. Cool. Any any other excellence of roleplay? 
בדיוק, יפה יפה. Okay, so in that case, I make that out to be... Oh, sorry, I was still muted. Can I add one? I don't uh, know if it was said. Oh, uh, sure. What did you say? Um, young Nick being, like, pro-officer. <laughs> I do like that the first thing he did was rearrange himself behind a hedge where he would be more difficult to stab and train a shot in case something happens with the first line. <laughs> I mean, it's uh, on brand, shall we say. It is weirdly perfect that apparently the role your Nicholas was born to play was an out-of-touch upper-class officer with a it's callous a heart. And the oh, worst I thing is, is I'm the guy. one with minimum conscience possible. <laughs> to be fair, he's not doing things in an unconscionable way. Remember, he's doing this because this is the way he's expected to behave. There. Uh, okay, so I made that out to be nine experience points for session number 33. Uh, that's three points of plot progress, uh, discovering that this is not an isolated case with the villagers, uh, being fairly sure that you're dealing with a mind manipulation thing, and the Roman connection. Uh, two points of character development, that's Sebastian got stabbed and Holman tries to bridge the class divide. Three points, excellence of roleplay. That's uh, Carl reacting to getting stabbed. Tango never breaks character regardless of the stabbings or indeed anything else. Um, and Young Nicholas's upper class twit acting. Plus one standard. How much was that in total? Nine. Oh, oh, sexy. I, I still can't access my sheet. This is regrettable. Also, the fact that you're called Holborn and are from South London is only just registering to me, Ollie. I guess this is a different spelling. <laughs> Clearly, I had it on the mind when I was creating the character. In which case, can I, uh, if I can't get back in, can I put another reminder? Sure. Uh, 9 XP from previous session. Forgive my lack of class, but could someone also explain to me the relevance of Holborn, South London? Um, o- Ollie's character comes from South London, and Holborn is a place in North London, or well, north of the river. Okay, right. Which is basically worthless. And I live there right now. And- Sorry, in most instances, basically worthless. In some instances, worth um, negative amounts of money. Yes. It's, it's, it's very expensive. <laughs> I have uh, just thought of a possible reminder, actually. Okay. Um, uh, Roman influence might be uh, susceptible to um, manipulation via, uh, via um, officer orders or something. Not I'm sure. thinking that a- a- as an officer, I might be able to uh, say like march and whatnot. And oh, okay, march. I see. I see where you're going. Um... No idea if it's gonna work. Just <laughs> like it might work. I'm gonna I'm gonna put a derogatory question mark on the end of it, but I'll leave it yep, there for yep. you. Thank you. Cool, cool. Which brings us on to yeah. every- Ooh, sorry. Oh, I was just going to say, like, it makes me, like, uh, when I was getting stabbed up, at least, I was wondering, like, if the influence was, like, they're still them, but they're just having things told to do, or if it's full-on possession. So, it's, I do I do have Manipulation 5 with status, <laughs> and Intimidation 4 officer. I oh. can't pull class. On possessed people. Why not? I think it probably depends on the possession. Uh, I, I hate so to say. Tired. Yes, but I'm a member of the gentry, so you have to listen to me. There's, there's definitely some possessed people you could pull rank on. Like, <laughs> so say one of Ollie's dead childhood friends. Sorry, not Ollie. Uh, say one of Holman's dead childhood friends materialized possessing someone. A hundred percent a ghost that Timothy Popajack could conceivably pull rank on. Does a ghost care about rank at that point? Depends, from a depends on the ghost. <laughs> it's absolutely hilarious to me the idea that Timothy Popajack, as the uh, is as, as a as a very important figure in many of these ghosts' lives, is just the fetter t- one of their fetters tying them to the mortal plane through <laughs> hatred. 
completely unaware of the dozens of ghosts on the other uh, ghosts on the other side of the shroud that hate his fucking guts. Yeah, yeah Sebastian. As soon as he's over there, right, Sebastian goes down. He's joining them. <laughs> yes, blame Popa Jack. His hate <laughs> is fuel. Uh, his hate, his longevity is fueled by how many people hate him. He could have shot sooner, but he waited for me to get stabbed. I didn't want to get. To, I didn't want to shoot you in the back. Is the thing. Yeah. Give you a chance to do the work. It means I don't have to. So, let's let's skip on to everyone's favourite part of the session. It's the highlights. <laughs> Young Nicholas, <laughs> our <laughs> dear <laughs> Timothy Popajack. Do you have any highlights for that session? We built wheelbarrows everywhere. No, the town of wheelbarrows. Really, they should have called the town Will Harrow. I'm so unaccountably mad at you. You absolute waste of skin. Pertly with wheelbarrows. <laughs> that's the. That, you know what? No, that's somehow worse. Ollie, you are partially redeemed by your Nicholas's incredible failure splash damage. Your Nicholas, sure, and you just turn it to totally with wheelbarrows. I, am, I mean, if you think about it, White Mountain's just one giant barrow. I, I fucking oh my god, oh my god, I'm so mad at everything here. I'm just, <sighs> St. Anne's any, well any other highlights, young Nicholas? How many people can bleed out in one session? <laughs> any other highlights? Uh, who needs a relaxing session? I would like my, my next session, please. <laughs> this was supposed to be a low stakes session. <laughs> And then it kind of was for most of it, right up until Ollie tried to beat oh, someone. Got Ollie tried to beat um, someone in I the face. Sure Carl with a... almost died. Yeah, well, no, even before that, things started to go downhill when Ollie tried to beat someone in the face with a space wrench, and then uh, and then things took a sharp downward turn that kept going right up until the end of the session. I mean, it was pretty much silent hill pacing. Yeah, I nothing, 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 no. Oh God, there's everything. Um, There's uh, a small uptick and then a sudden sharper uptick. Sorry, any of the highlights, are Nicholas? Dirt can most definitely be used as a plaster replacement. Uh, fun fact: like back in the olden times, they did used to pack wounds with dirt. See, if it's good enough for them, it's good enough for you. Uh, Most some... of them died from sepsis, but that's yeah, a different I, issue. I, I feel like I doubt this 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 factoid <laughs> you're giving me here, Carl. <laughs> No, there were some mosses that were chewed up and then put onto wounds as a poultice, but they weren't great. Yeah, and, and that's different. That's This medicinal moss does a thing versus, quick, shove the ground in him. Great oh, Mother I, Earth I, will heal. Oh, okay. Well, no, it's before oh, they understood germs. <laughs> Yeah, but it, you you get you get into like admet cargo cult rules, right? You underst you, you generally understand that like, oh, okay, it didn't work the first time, so we won't keep doing it the second and third time. It's the same as how you discover which mushrooms are edible. Is like, yeah, there's a certain trial and error process where quite a lot of people die, but after a time, you know the ones that are mostly okay, and the number of people dying doesn't ever completely go away, but it's reduced because you know which ones you're supposed to eat. But, I mean, it is a similar situation, but I mean, it does depend on the nature of the wound, and I will stop talking because we're getting out of uh, bounds. That's, that's fair. Um, I've put a sarcastic most definitely around your thing there, Nicholas. Any other highlights? Uh, that's it, thank you very much. Okay. Carl, do you have any highlights for that session? Well. So, so, okay. Someone else already head off. Oh, no, you're, you're just heading off now. Okay. Um, I'm heading off now, yeah. It's the so, as well got me. Okay, see you, Nicholas. Uh, uh, any any highlights for that session, Creed? Wait, does he Creed or Carl? I think Creed can go. For what? Uh, Holden, Billy's a man and his petunias. <laughs> My petunias plow the lilies. Like, considering he's from Yorkshire, he could have been talking about, like, his wife, his daughters, like, who knows? <laughs> Christ. Uh, any of the any of the highlights, Creed? Uh, Reginald Bum feeds a man. Bum, bum yes. feeds a man. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Took yeah. a second. But it was all Save a life. 
<laughs> oh, <laughs> fuck my life. Any of the highlights, Creed? Uh, that's it for me. Cool, cool. Uh, Carl, do you have any highlights for that session? Getting stabbed in the chest. <laughs> a I high stakes game leads to someone getting staked. God damn it. God damn it. it like, if this was a vamps game, like, that, that would be, like, I, I would actually have given that, at the very least, a hearty chuckle. Yeah, I mean, a vamps game, standard stamina, you would have taken, what, like, two lethal? Uh, the equivalent of a firm punch to the head it sucks, but you know you you can walk it off in a minute or two if that. Yeah. What's the level that starts fucking over vampires? I forget. Um, I mean, lethal will still do it if you take sufficient lethal, but vampires can soak lethal damage with their stamina. Uh, mm. Aggravated damage is the damage that applies like this to to vampires, which means oh well, to supernaturals, which means that they can't soak with stamina; they need to use fortitude. I do. Uh, what was I think it's Nikki. Usually plays like really high fortitude, high stamina characters, and it means you'll run into these awkward situations where everyone else is taking immense amount of damage, and then like a boulder falls on her head, and the boulder shatters. I mean, that happened with um, with well, what's his face Ferdinand as Ferdinand. well. He was- Ferdinand frenzied, and you were like pulling her head from her body, but she had enough stamina and fortitude that you were just kind of like stretch arms, stronging her neck. <laughs> um, it wouldn't have lasted forever, but uh, it got on for a while. Any other any other highlights there, uh, Carl? The Roman connection sounds like a shitty conspiracy oh. book. Yeah, the oh. Roman connection, UK. Well, yeah, I was, yeah, I was thinking the clothing brand. Oh, I'm unfamiliar with this brand. Uh, any other highlights, Carl? <laughs> I, oh, I'm trying to think of the phrasing, but uh, confusing the little old lady. <laughs> I, I've not got a good phrasing for it, but yeah. Let's just let it sit in the highlights. Awkward. I also don't have one. Any other highlights? Uh, that's it for me, thanks. Fair, fair. Uh, Ollie Wooly Ding Dong, do you have any highlights for that session? I have more of one question, actually. Seeing as I hit that guy so hard, I turned him into a vegetable. Does that turn him into a Caesar salad? Get in the fucking... I- I'm smiling. Like, you can't see it, but know that, like, <laughs> oh, shit-eating grin. Stay in the corner, Ollie. Into the wanker's corner you go. <laughs> fucking dig this. Alright, I'm gonna have to head off anyway. That's right. Jeez. I'm the only one who has to find that funny, and I'm... Oh, good. Uh, I'm... Fair night, Benji. Yeah, highlight... Oh, oh, you're off, Creed. Catch you later. Agreed. Uh, any highlights, uh, Ollie? Um, yeah. Okay. Um, completely justified assault on Gardner. I mean, I hate to say it, but he was already going to cut his own toes off. Technically, he didn't really do much other than save his life in any other circumstance. I suppose we did restrain you a little bit so that you wouldn't just like. I basically wanted to avoid the situation that wound up happening to Carl. I didn't want you to get immediately just stabbed in the chest and then killed. <laughs> That's what happens when you succeed your roles. Um, I mean, uh, concussions for the people, by the people. There was a lot of head trauma that happened in this session, I think. There's a lot of head trauma. A lot of trauma. There's a lot of trauma. Yeah. Any other a lot highlights? Of trauma. Any other highlights, Ollie? Um, boof to save a life. What? Or boofing to save a life. Boofing is when you, you shove things up the butt to, you know, get like a higher high from it or get drunk faster. In this case, see, you put food up there, right? I'm, un- I'm unfamiliar with this term. Regardless, we've already got it down, I'm afraid. Yeah, oh, I didn't know enough. it was called boofing. Yeah. Yeah. Um... What else? Uh, uh, great minds think alike with wheelbarrows. Uh, it has the, uh, the, the return of the oh, to the pub via wheelbarrow already been mentioned. Uh, it hasn't, actually. Yes, I'd like to include that then. <laughs> Big Tim. Big Tim. Fair, fair. Anything else? Survives World War One, gets shanked by old school teacher. 
an asset to me. It's just so tragic. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Uh, no, entirely fair. Cool, well, thank you all for a very entertaining session number 33. Ooh. Could I add one? Uh, yeah, sure, what you got? FDR polio blanket. God damn it. And then- I feel like polio blanket's probably a bad term, but I, it's because I that's in my head from always sunny in Philadelphia, right? So I I can't think of it as anything else but that. Oh. Yeah, I don't watch Always Sunny. Really? So, uh, like, I never thought I was right yeah. with your alley. Yeah, that's what everyone says, but I just like the first season I tried and couldn't get and like. That's fair. It's it's almost it, it doesn't really come into its own until it gets Danny DeVito in the second season. But also, I can see how it's. Maybe one of those situations where, like, everyone recommends something to you, and that makes you want to see it less. And then you... Like, there is an element of that. I mean, that's that's also entirely fair, though. I like I still haven't played Disco Elysium because even though I want to play it, people keep telling me to, and that like destroys my will to play it. Anywho, yes, thank you all for a very entertaining session number thirty-three. Does anyone have any final words for the recording? Get shanked.